All right, let us begin. Good day. I guess it persists all the way outside of the game as well now. Interesting. Rules are in the top left. Essentially, you can shift around quest a little bit, but you must do all of the quests prior to leaving the act. This is my personal added rule. I believe everything else does fit for the 100% run, with the exception of that rule. In the official 100% category, you can s skip all the quests and then just go do them at the end. I personally am not as much a fan of that. I feel like you need to do all of the quests in said run. That's my own opinion, though. I think that makes it more fun, though. Having to figure out all of that stuff. Not really any gold here. Kind of disappointed by that. I'm just trying to get a little. Oh, I have a chip damn at this, actually. That'll be enough. Oops. And that charm. Okay, we're actually golden here. Estimated finish time. This one will probably take a little bit. I'm not sure of the estimate, but so, this is where evil hides. I guess I hope to be sub seven hours or something. I guess I should use my fire that I just got. So many shamans. Imagine killing the countess for real. Like for real, real? Is there anybody up there on that second level? I want to like check in this crack. Doesn't look like it. Druid runs slow. It's the same as all the others. You sound like Moo Girl now. She's like, your character runs faster than mine. Necromancer is just slow. Let's do a race. I don't believe you. He just has a weird running animation. He looks a little goofy. Honestly, a lot of the characters look a little goofy running around. Didn't know you could shift the scrolls in. I like it. Also, did you guys see? Kane is finally going to be able to identify your cube in the upcoming patch. Game is saved, everybody. What do you think of people spending $50 on Immortal already? Fifty dollars? 
or the more. <laughs> I think mobile games are very easy to spend a lot of money without realizing it. I too have put money into a mobile game. And at the time, you can make sense of it, you know? That was a terrible den, by the way. So slow. It's very easy to uh, make sense of putting the money in when they have you hooked and coming in every day and all that stuff because you can be like, well, you know, I'm I'm doing this every day and why not? Blah blah, blah. whatever reasoning you wanna you wanna give. Attempting to roll, Mr. Llama SC. Oh, look, a five fifths legendary streamer. <laughs> Thank you, Risen. Spent $740 on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links back over 1.6 years time. Yeah. And I mean, the thing is... It isn't... You spent 15 euro for the season pass and you regret it. Yeah. I didn't announce I was streaming on Discord. Did I not? Oh, you're right. Um, can you type up, oh, I guess I have that, uh-huh, sorry, I had to do an invoice, probably didn't announce it on Twitter then either, alright, announcement is made, on Twitter and Discord. Wait, why does it say melee only sorceress? Son of a gun. Why is that on my copy pasta? I, okay, I don't know. Uh,. Warren, can you delete my post and then read, announce to the Discord the real thing? I'm kind of scared it might just be straight across there, honestly. Thank you. It is. Unless this continues down and then over and whatever, but... Oh my god. Tough map, tough map. Moo? Thank you, Rage. Yeah, I mean, we can have a whole little chat about all the pieces of it. I mean, number one with the, the mobile factor is it really is and isn't ridiculous in comparison, right? For instance, I say in comparison because you can take a look at a lot of hobbies that you spend time on. Oh. And Gotti Soup, thank you. It really isn't that crazy for a lot of money that you may put into something like a mobile game. Right? Let's say, you know, you like to golf or something. I mean, my dad probably spends. 20 grand a year on golfing or something like that. I don't know. I'm just guessing. 
he spent a lot of money on golfing from getting new clubs to paying the you know the fees for every time he goes to play for buying balls every time that he goes out to practice to just whatever right i mean yeah you spend 250 dollars a month on your music rehearsal studio 100 dollars a month on random maintenance all of that all those things you have a 3k usd guitar like if you own a boat and like to go boating, you you probably spend a, a billion dollars a year. You know, so it's like a lot of hobbies cost a lot of money, right? Um, and that's just very normal. However, uh, exactly, bust out another thousand. Gaming is a hobby that doesn't need to be that way. And this is this is kind of the the difference of it. And I think, you know, why they, you know, have started to really dig their little grubby paws into it all because in our minds I think it makes total sense if I'm playing a game and I spend, you know, a couple hours a day playing that game, then is it really crazy for me to spend $500, $1,000 a month on said game? Uh, in game terms, it, it kind of is. But in hobby terms and things, I think it's very easy to justify I mean, I'm getting a lot of value for my time in there, right? So if I spent $500 a month, or let's go less. Let's say I spend $100 a month, $200 a month. Compared to other hobbies, it's very cheap. I'm getting out with a steal, right? However, this is all just how I think it's easy to justify in our minds because, you know, once again, if I were to take that money and go golfing instead or whatever it is, it would be, you know, way more that I would be spending, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can say other hobbies are investments, but a lot of times they aren't investments. If I go to a golf course right now, probably costs like $40, $50 to go play a round of golf. That's literally pay to play, <laughs> right? When I play hockey, you have to pay for ice time. If you want to get on the ice, you're going to pay to get on the ice, you know? So, you know, like a lot of hobbies are, are going to have that where there is going to be that cost. Ooh, that's towel, nice. So that's the the first piece right there, why I think a lot of people could very easily justify it because overall gaming just is going to be a little bit cheaper of a hobby in that regard. Um, and you know, it's easy to put the money into a game and justify it. And so, you know, like I probably spent, I played a game for like two and a half years and probably spent like a thousand dollars on it. Uh, I still don't feel good about it, but at the same time, the amount of hours that I got versus the thousand dollars I put in really wasn't a bad cost to fun, you know, um, piece. However, I think the part, uh, Mike is clipping. Oh, yeah, I'll try and speak a little quieter, maybe. I think the part that is, uh, or we can, it might be my sound audio levels need to be just slightly. The part that's annoying, we don't like, whatever it is, is that, um, oh, this new microphone. Okay, let's go to right there should be a little better. I think the part that is really annoying and people hate <laughs> is that one gaming 
is a hobby that doesn't need to be expensive. Right? Like Diablo 2, for instance. You get... I, I spent $20 on this game. Or, you know, on D2R, $40, whatever it was. was. And, uh... I, I've gotten, you know, 30,000 hours, blah, blah, blah. So how much have I actually spent on the multiple copies and things like that? Probably like $200. No. Nope. Right? Thank you, Trick. Man. Got the tier rune, that's good. Good day. And you know, so like I spent a couple hundo or I and I've got thirty thousand hours. And that's the beauty or one of the big beauties about Diablo 2 is or just about gaming, I would say, in general, is that you don't have to spend a ton of money for gaming to be big value. That's kind of one of the nice things. So I think what feels really bad is, unlike something like a golf course, where the maintenance and everything that they, that they you know, have to do, it makes sense why I'm going out and paying $60, $50 to go play, right? Because if I didn't, the golf course literally wouldn't be able to exist. You know, a lot of hobbies, the value fits to, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. Purely because that's just, you know, a lot of what the cost is that goes into it. So, you know, you get, you're appreciating those things a little bit more. Because you go, hey, yeah, this is expensive. And, you know, I, I recognize that. And so, cool. You know, like, I don't, I don't mind paying that money there for that experience. But with gaming, you, that, that cost doesn't need to exist. There are tons of games where you, you buy in right there and you're good to go. And you can say server costs, but... You know, they're not... Diablo Immortal doesn't have all of this monetization added in to help pay for their server cost, and that's the stuff, right? Like, it's 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 now very heavily profit-driven, and that's going to be... Uh, <laughs> I know, Macro, right? And that's going to be the, the piece that I think really starts to bug a lot of people and why it's super annoying is even though it's in relation to other hobbies, not a lot of money, it's just super annoying that now, you know, it'd be like if I go to the golf course and they just keep trying to nickel and dime me all throughout and there's just constantly, you know, pay to re-hit your ball or something, right? There's somebody like standing right there and Whatever things, things that don't need to exist, and extra monetization that doesn't need to exist. Pay five dollars to move this tree out of the way. I don't know. Um, you know, and so I think that's really a frustrating part about it. On top of, and of course we'll get to the you know big issue with it. In a second here. Thank you, Elijah. But you know, I think I think that really hits hits uh, uh kind of hits a nerve. Is it doesn't need to be an expensive thing. They're purely making it expensive and jamming in all this extra monetization because they want more money, as opposed to they're trying to survive and this is just you know they're trying to run like a a, a simple business or something, right? So you get the, the scummy feeling with mobile gaming and all the pay to win aspects and all the monetization that they're shoving in games because it doesn't need to be there. It is purely there because the company just is not satisfied with taking some of your money 
they want to take all of your money and they feel like you're not putting enough money in because the hobby just honestly doesn't need to require as much money. And that frustrates them. Exactly, Macro. And so Diablo Immortal could honestly be a fantastic mobile game. Still has some D3 aspects and whatever stuff in it, sure. But the game itself could be good. However, due to all of its terrible monetization, you can't, you can't enjoy the game. Maybe you can. I can't enjoy the game. But that gets to the next point going into Ooh. that. Thank Horizon you, Ar Horizon. Tier one sub to Fred 425 C13. Mwah. It's they very have sweet given of you. three gift subs in the channel. So, you know, the the part that's I think most frustrating through all of that is the fact that on top of them just deciding, hey, this doesn't need to cost a lot of money, but we're gonna make it cost a lot of money and try and get you to spend tens and thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars on it, even though if we just sold it for 10 bucks or whatever, that would be plenty enough. So it's not just like the absurdity of, of all of that, but it is the gambling casino predatory nature that I think takes it to another level and another step. And I think that's where it really gets scummy and where it really feels like, ugh, you know, it, it feels slimy. All right, we got our tower in. So that's, that to me is, is my big issue. That to me is my big issue with, with all of it. Well, I guess the two issues. One, it doesn't need to cost a lot of money, but they make it cost a lot of money because they can, they, they think, oh, you know, we can get more money out of it. And two, <laughs> the constant predatory nature of how they hire people from casinos and all of this stuff to come in and build it out and focus so much around the monetization in that Unlocking scummy way, you know? The stream. Yeah, it's only 200 bits to unlock this next segment of the stream. Make sure to get your 200 bits in before act two, everybody. Right, like, getting psychologists to help make people pay money, essentially, is uh, really, I struggle with that one. Because, I mean, but that's just what it's turned into, you know? That's, that's just where it's at. And children play these games as well and stuff, so it's not even like a casino where there's a real limitation and it's like, hey, you have to be at least 21 years old to come in here and this casino is all about gambling. Like, I don't think anybody goes into a casino with the idea that this is a fun game to play and, you know, there's not gambling of money going on here. Or, oh, you don't have to pl put money in at the casino. You can just come in and have fun. Like, no, Casino oh, is like, yes. I have to pay to keep watching. I'm already so very invested, and I clearly have a large amount of disposable income. Exactly, Blue Star. You know. And so, it's like, casinos aren't hiding what they are, but it feels like now that's the point where we're at for all of these things. It's just a, a hiding of, like... It's just gambling hidden behind a mobile game where they try and convince you that you don't have to spend any money, but then they just psychologically attack your mind until they can convince you to spend the $1, right? That's the classic right there. Whenever you go into a game and they 
they, you know, bombard you with one dollar options that are really good options because that's it. They just have to break that single single piece down. They have to just break down that little bit of your psyche that says I wouldn't spend money on this. 800% value. A pay to get sound stream. Now we have to pay bits to get more content. I don't make the rules. I just completely set how they are. Thank you, soon. That's only a hundred bits, though. You're you're still a hundred bits short of the continued content. So, I think, like I say, I think that's where a lot of the scumminess and, and everything falls in. They're not video games. They're gambling, you know, machines designed as games. Which, honestly, if you go to a casino, a lot of all the gambling is disguised as a game there as well. But again, they're still more straightforward. You must put money in and then push a button and then it's a little game looking thing and blah, 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 blah. Hmm. You know. So. Pachinko, yeah. And a casino can pay out cash, which is, you know, one of their big draws, right? The fact that you can actually win money back. Which makes it probably more addicting for some people. And, you know, casinos have their own ethical stuff. You can decide on how you feel about that. But at least to me, like I say, you know, casinos are kind of scummy but at the same time they very much are what they are they have the regulation the next five minutes of sound as permanently discounted by 90 percent only 100 bits instead of 1000 wow what a deal that's a thousand percent value yeah and they're not trying to get a child to come in or anything like that you know but if they weren't regulated you can bet your butt they would Oh, for sure you will. Boo. Thank you, Caps. Appreciate that. Yeah, and like, I like going to a casino. And I walk in and, you know, I went to a casino last weekend. And I lost $50. And it was fine. Because I said, okay, I'm going to bet $50. And I understood it, and it was entertainment from that, and there was the chance that I didn't lose $50, but, you know, I did, and that was okay. I also got some free drinks and, you know, stuff like that. You lose $50 like a man, you cry like a baby, and you move on. Exactly. But the casino never tried to convince me it was anything else. That's exactly. When someone tells you they lost dollar $X amount at a casino, Multiple that amount by 10x and you get the real honest answer. <laughs> it Ooh. actually was. Thanks for it was actually $49. I rounded up. Thank you, Darafels. Moo Girl lost. Well, it was Moo Girl and me combined. She lost $10 on slots. And I was even there. And then I went and lost $20 on a slot and then 
Thank you. Ooh, big llama. Starting all, all this, this drama. drama. It's me, bitch. Do I qualify for the whole of normal with this? No manners. You get all the way through Act 4, Quest 1 with that. Yes. And then I gave her one roll on roulette, and she picked the wrong color. And so we lost $20 on that. And that was it. That was the whole casino experience. So, with all that being said, I believe that brings us to... I love poker with friends in a small buy-in. That's one of my favorite things to do, is just have like $20 buy-in, $10 buy-in, unlimited rebuys, and then just play with friends. End of the night. Biggest winners usually like thirty, forty dollars. Biggest losers around the same, and you get five, six hours. A lot of times you walk away, you know, down ten, up ten, whatever, and it just it doesn't matter. It's just a fun time. Um, Uchiha Harvey Harvey. gifted a tier one sub to Quimby fifteen. All right, given seven gift subs in the channel. Yeah, you're all the way good through normal now. Congratulations on unlocking all of the normal content for the stream, Harvey. Oh. Wow. You did it. Big value. Ta-da-da! Dion, thank you very much. How does such a small buy -in contribute to the fun? Because it's not about making hundreds or losing hundreds where you're like gonna have a bad day. The whole the whole point of those is to just have fun and you can still, you know, if you have twenty bucks, whatever, you still don't wanna lose twenty bucks. Zero buy in has no incentive to play any bit serious. Twenty dollar buy in still has some incentive. If you if you guys are rich, maybe you go to 40, 50, 100, whatever, you know. You do the amount of money that's not I once heard gonna make that anybody if you give sad. A cookie, it ends up stealing your motorcycle or something. I that, don't remember. That sounds about right. Nah, $0 poker is is boring cuz then everybody just jams all in all the time and doesn't think about it. But, yeah, so all that being said with Diablo Immortal, that brings us to now Diablo 4. No. And I think first, thank you, Af, Diablo 4 will not have the same mobile meta predatory monetization that Diablo Immortal has. Thank you very much for that sub, I do appreciate it. Because that would be honestly kind of silly. It's, uh, uh, they would, not get that same reaction, and I think it would end up costing them overall, on top of really hurting their reputation even more. Um, I a thousand percent believe we won't see that. They have kind of said that they won't sell power, but they also a hundred percent haven't said it exactly in a way that makes me feel comfortable enough. So I do still have some scare for that. Because they haven't said we're not going to put things like experience boost and these things in the shop. I'm trying to remember the exact phrasing of how they said it. Maybe they said it won't be pay to win, but in their, their, I don't know. Again, it's kind of like they said they weren't selling gear in Diablo Immortal, but then they sold gems that went in the gear. Again, I don't think they're going to do something as dumb as that. But, 
You know. Uh, you always stand when dealer shows six. Hello. Let them hit bust themselves. A limbo champion walks into a bar. He was disqualified. Oh. Um, oh, I forgot to turn the malice in. Let me, yeah. All right. Do, do, do. Join my army of the dead. Nice. Dealer draws. Nine busts. Let's go, baby. All right. All quests are done, and we'll save the imbue. And we're in act two. Oh, wait. No. I forgot it's all waypoints, too. Son of a gun. Well, it's fine. I haven't left Act 2 town yet or done anything in Act 2 yet. Oh my god, I forgot the waypoints. I'm so dumb. Forgot that, uh, that part of it. It's okay. Just gotta get him by the end. So yeah, Act 4, not Act 4, Diablo 4, I, my fear, like I say, is they haven't said the shop is purely cosmetics. That's the part that, that has me slightly worried. I, I do have fear that it will suddenly become, oh, well, it's okay. We're not selling Ooh. gear Doomsayer and whatever. Gifted a tier one sub to throw and I don't even like cosmetics exactly. But... You know, they didn't say we're not doing that. We are... I'm just going to remove the Andario thing. I'll wait till we're done with Act 1. Because the, it leaves just so much room for, like I say, selling experience. You know? Selling increased quantity drops for an hour. Selling a magic find boost. Selling any of those things. There, there's too much of that stuff that I, I'm actually really worried about. Will they'll be like, this isn't pay to win. This isn't power we're selling. 50% experience bonus. Pa yeah, I mean... Let's do Z there. So, on top of seasonal battle passes, maybe a subscription fee you have to pay every month, maybe. Wow, that was a nasty jail level one for that waypoint. Um, you know, maybe there's. Uh, j just whatever on top of the base game cost on top of the cosmetics so if you want to look anything decent if you, you know like I said when we were there they showed that trailer it was like oh wow these characters look really cool and then my first thought immediately after was oh wait these are probably all pay to win or you have to buy all these cool skins so you can't actually look cool on your own I mean, I think it's just one, it's predatory, and two, it's not interesting when a game is just, it, it, it's, it's, 
it, it, not even not interesting. It just goes back to the predatory nature. When a game is who can pay more to win, the only person that wins really is the company that takes advantage of it, right? The company that sits there and creates the environment for them to compete with each other over spending money. All right, now we're done with the act. That's that's to me why I, why it's just really annoying. They're just sitting there and being like, "Ooh, how do we get these people?" I do warn you. Hey, four regions. Fresh meat. Cedar with the T two sub. T two is better than T one. Are you gonna let him do that to you guys and embarrass you with this T two sub? My goodness. Yes. All right. Well, that, that works. Join my army of the dead. That's a nice save file you have on our server. Use best keep up with your protection money, or Bruno pops the file. See. No. Got to remember it's a hundred percent run. So yeah, I mean, I think I think that just takes me to all of my D four monetization concern now do i still have concern about the development of the game and how itemization will look and all of the yada 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 of course you know Impossible. but please deposit one ber rune to chat to continue stream that's right thank you arisen sun Impossible. immortal servers are down okay Where's my waypoint? Battle nets down. Gotcha. Okay. So the waypoint may just be down there, I guess. Guess so. Put in a Q and now you're in? Okay. I mean, very few things, especially in this world, are actually free. Except all of Mr. La Messi's content. That, of course, is, is free. Lies! Cost time? Okay, well. Well, my content has nothing to do with your internet and all that. I mean, that's a... You pay internet, man. I ain't getting any cut of that. Really? Is the sound on this stream not considered content? We, we'd like to not 
refer to it as Kant. Lies, I forgot to renew my prime and was wondering why I had no sound. Fair. But is sound really considered content? What even is content? What does that word mean? Moo. Thank you, Headless. Hey, don't you talk bad about my rap. <laughs> Missing a lot of waypoints. Now we're good. We're, we're sneaking back to them. Also, we do need to do radiment and that stuff. We'll do that later. Oops. I got sound now. Nice. Thank you, Braver. Thank you, Headless Odin. This has been a sloppy 100% run so far. We need to clean it up a little bit. Yikes. Why do my two open socket staves? Hey, Insomnia. I know you kids like them sloppy. To open sockets, 3,800, that'll work. Oh, no. The box said to check it to show myself streaking in the chat. Love the D2R <laughs> content, however I'm a bit burnt out with it. Season 5 of PD2 is looking pretty good, though probably will be checking that out. Any plans to go back over to PD2 Llama, my dude? Yeah, on, on Friday I'll probably go play it. See, that's the problem. We pay money to get good content. Now you make us watch a sloppy run, Kappa. Sorry, Sim. Yeah, I've been to Germany, Austria, Italy, Ireland, Northern Ireland, um, try and think of anywhere else. Seems about right. Impossible. Italy. I've been to South Korea. That was super cool. the mug and the mouse pad enjoy I've never been to South America did I enjoy Austria yeah it was nice went to the opera it was too hot though Can I guess how many times I've beaten D2? No. No, I cannot. Just so, so many. Uh, 
I can't even put a word or a number. Impossible. So many times. Infinite amount. Feels that way. What are like more 85 areas? I mean, I think they have a decent amount of 85 areas. Impossible. I, I, I don't think 85 areas are as necessary for a ton of stuff as people think. Like, most of the side areas, you know, is where you're going to be there. Otherwise, even still, a lot of areas don't need to be 85 to still be decent. It's just, it's for the very tiny percent of people that it actually should make a difference. How many digits of pi do I know? Right now or at my peak? I knew 628. That was the highest amount. Right now, probably 50, 60. I mean, again, all the sequences are still stored up in my brain. So it's very easy to get back to you know, like, pi that I used to know. Like, whenever I would go and, you know, learn for the next year and I wanted to increase the amount that I knew, I, it was very easy to, to memorize up to where I had been prior because those sequences still exist. Um, Impossible. It's so... You're good, Penny. Six, five, three, five, eight, eight, nine. I'm guessing you're rounding to nine rage. Ooh. Love the content, Llama. Any insider info about whether or not we will get materials tab or just extra stash space in ladder season two? Ooh. Giving my prime for content for no. some high digits. Thank you, Chef. Appreciate that. Uh, I guess I need to go far away, sis. I did not UBO. So, I mean, I've talked about it a few times before, but you know, essentially, you, you, I, Pi doesn't have any pattern to it, but you can create your own patterns. So that's kind of how I did for memorization of it, right? So it's 3.14159265358979323846264332 whatever, right? So you do each of those in kind of those sequences and then eventually it kind of breaks apart and you know you, you have parts that don't sequence but then you have parts that are further sequenced so it's like zero six two eight six two zero eight nine nine eight six two eight that's one sequence that happens around like 70 digits or something like that and all of those numbers kind of flow together in a way you know There's also some one place where I think it's like two, 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 two or something. <laughs> it's like four twos in a row, you know, around like 300, 400, 500 digits, whatever. Four twos in a row, whatever it is. 
So, you know, you just kind of, you look for all the, the different things for all that stuff. And then eventually, it kind of becomes, you know, one of those memories that you don't even think about. And, you know, I can probably recite pi faster than I can recite just random numbers in general. Because... I don't have to think about anything. It just is automatic. Can I recite Moo's birthday? You know, I forgot what day it was. It's hard to remember. You know, all that stuff. Don't have a very good memory. Why did I learn the digits of pi? No, no real good reason. There was a competition at my school. And so the school record was 314. So I figured I would come full circle. Get it? and double it and do 628. It's a math joke. We got it, we just aren't laughing. Oof. This feels like wrong right now. Taking my record still stands? I think so. Three to werewolf. Definitely like music. You're using repetition and parents memorize and communicate. Set what people think. Wow, it did continue this way. So yeah, it's like, like I say, if I was trying to recite just random digits, just like 628315429964387552820, like, you know, like random digits, it's actually a little harder than just saying 3.1415926535897932384626438327953288 right? I I don't even have to think about saying it because you just have the you just have it memorized oh man that's the next llama wrap and sometimes it was actually a little difficult because it takes a while to recite 628 digits of pi. Right? It took like 10 minutes or something to recite it all. And one of the reasons it took that long is because I wasn't allowed to recite quickly because she had to check every digit, right? And so she'd be like, slow it down. So I'd be like, okay, 3.1415926535897. You know, like you're just doing that. Um, and, but then it's like, sometimes she'll be like, wait, 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 go back. What did you just say? And you're like, oh, son of a gun. <laughs> you're like, I, so oh, where was I? What did I just say? <laughs> Like, because you, you, when you, you get in a rhythm, you're in the middle of, you know, some sort of flow that you set up. 
and uh, and then they break it, and you have to like try and break down, but you kind of you you did blocking for it, and so it was it was interesting. Oh wait, wait, I can. How much money for a Diablo 2 Spanish speedrun? I wonder what the the name of that this game is in Spanish. Maybe like hmm. El El Devilito. Something like that. El Devilito Dos. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, son of a gun. These waypoints are tripping me up today, man. Oh god, Riff. Getting 100% of waypoints in hell is gonna be rough. Hot sauce? Um, not really that I can think of. Did I purposely not go for source? I just picked Druid today. Hello. Good day. Mm -hmm. Nice stairs. Deaths can still have an effect. 10, 49, 19, what am I thinking? Uh, I mean, the life in AR is low, but it's a 10 maxer, which oh. I think is still Other really important for a lot of people. people sub and get people, gear so. drops. I sub and get fourth way. Doesn't seem fair. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the loot box chance with it, you know. You never know if you're going to get fourth way or uh, a burr rune from your sub. Maybe try subbing T2.
this game. Oh God, Bill. It is an honor to serve you. Greetings. <laughs> it's right, WK. get a StarCraft stream? I do miss a little StarCraft. Uh, we just played some StarCraft not too long ago, right? Oh my god, it's just... Always. Just always. Stopped and made my spirit or my uh, stealth while I was there. Getting my exercise in, great. This is, if, if games were, if this game was a pay to win game, 100% guaranteed you would automatically fourth way unless you put money in and then you would first way. And they'd be like, see, everybody can still get to the, uh, the correct way eventually. have all the people defending it like I love running around the arcane sanctuary so I I don't mind at all I think it's great what a fun game that's the people that defend all the monetization of garbage free-to-play games The people who put money in, they don't get to experience the fun of, of more of the content of the Arcane Sanctuary. Alright, time to make our stealth, I'm being dumb. Mm -hmm. 
If it was pay to get to the Arcane Sanctuary, even you would pay? Of course I would pay! Please just let me first way this stupid place. Oh yeah, I, I love the Maggot Lair in its current state. I actually slightly dislike that PD2 made it wider. I think it takes a little bit of the charm of the game away, which is some areas just suck. It's a completely different experience of playing through the game. Yeah, you love to hate it, but without it, it'd be a little disappointing, I feel like. Uh, wow, look at that jewel. Help me! What's the point in throwing money at e-girls and get empty responses when you can throw money at Llama for never failing to fourth way an arcane map? Okay, I don't know about never failing to fourth way. I definitely do, I do okay on the arcane sanctuary, okay? Just had a bad, bad luck this time. Um, run around cows, have fun blowing everything up in there. <laughs> uh, Maggot Lair is actually pretty good for fire characters. Shut up, Trekkie! <laughs> God. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Do I have all the waypoints and everything done? Return to Atma, I guess. Ooh, that's a... Look at that amulet. Oh my god. It's huge. Alright, all quests are done. All waypoints got got. Act 3. Honestly, a pretty good act 2. Is this game cool? I think so. Need to include all super unique monsters killed? Oh my gosh. Nice. 13 to amulet, 20 some, or 13 to energy, 20 something to life, 7 all res, 21 magic find. I mean. It's a ball and amulet. The magic find is honestly my favorite part. I mean, you know, there's other good parts, but the magic find is really nice. Because that'll help us find some blood fists and some other things later. <laughs> Does 13 to amulet help you find more amulets? Yes. It's amulet find specifically. Shut up, Blue. Am I gonna play new? Yeah, on Friday I'll play PD2. How's the Llama RPG coming along? I didn't work on it any yesterday, really. I mean, I put a lot of work over this weekend to flesh out all of the story. So the whole story now, you know, for the most part, is written out, the main story and everything with that. 
Um, so I need to get all that into a document. And uh, I will need voice actors, yeah. Yeah, all of that, all the zones, a lot of the side zones and side quests, the transition zones between them, all, all sorts of stuff. There's a lot that's been built out, so. Thanks, JG. The monetization has, of course, been figured out. All the ways that you can gamble money to, to get loot boxes. That's a joke. Send me an email or a Discord message, Golden Cat. Because I definitely will. Will it have a hundred percent achievement? What does that mean? What about in-game ads? So, I'm leaning towards just nah. My thought was maybe there's one vendor somewhere where you can go watch ads and it gives you nothing. It's just like if you want to support the stream. Support the game. But then I was like, even that feels annoying. So, there will probably be nothing. Join my army of the dead. We cut the RPG parts out and pass the savings on to you. That's right. Now it's just 100% loot box for half the cost. Special mad badge for those who watch 1k hours at the ad vendor. <laughs> yeah, it was just... I was like, you know, maybe, maybe if there's just... Uh, for people who are bored and want to support... They can support, to support it that way. Yes. Just like getting back that chipped. Otherwise... No, there won't be any in-game ads or anything. What about opt-in ads? I mean, that's what the ad vendor would be. You just go there and just watch them. And he gives you nothing. He just says, thanks for supporting the stream. Or the, the game. And that would be it. Impossible. And then there's an ad leaderboard for who's watched the most ads. Yeah. Pretty much. Can you pay to watch more ads? I mean, I feel like the ads, wait, what am I doing? Uh, Rao. Ooh, that was close. Oops. I feel like the ads, they, they can limit how many you can watch a day. you double credit for all the ads you watch? Uh, I don't know what you mean by credit. Oh, you mean credit on the ad leaderboard? No, it's no pay to win. I'm not gonna let you pay money to try and boost your way up the ad leaderboard. You're going to have to watch all of those ads yourself. This is getting confusing now. In a bad way. <laughs> Yeah. 
Can we pay to speed up the ads? Nope, you gotta grind your way to the top of the ad leaderboard. One ad at a time. No. Thank you, Badger. Oh, is it Ubio? Nice. But otherwise, no, there'll just be uh Can we have hidden ads? Like Mr. Llama and Chainmail hitting people in cow costumes with a nerf sword? <laughs> that will exist. Wait, did I get the waypoint at the start? No, yes, I did. It's okay, it's still good leveling. Secret Chipotle level, ooh, I like it. Join my if we don't get a secret llama level, it'd be disappointed XD. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Raiden. So, yeah, the, the thought is most likely either A, you can just support the uh, game by supporting it, or um, you can just play the game and that's fine. I, I, I'm not sure the support will have any benefit or if there will be potentially some like, you know, cosmetic things that you can, can buy. Um, yeah, still, still TBD on, on that actually. Or if I just want to have none of that, and it's just, uh... I guess we'll go back. If you want to support the game, you can just do so. And you'll just get a little badge. Quest 1. King Immortal is on a dinner date with Queen Moo, but has lost his wallet. Help him find it before it's time to pay the bill. Oh no, you failed. Looks like Moo will have to pick it up this time. Am I gonna pay some of my streamer friends to sponsor to play the game? Um, I don't know. Maybe? Streamers are expensive. You know, it's kind of like if your friend is a doctor, you don't want to constantly bother Quest them two. with doctor Pick questions. Pick the date to you reserve know? a restaurant for Moo's birthday. <laughs> oh no! But I know that they're you know they can be pricey. So, all of that's still TBD. We'll, we'll see. Maybe they'll just play the game because they like it. Or maybe we'll throw them some cash. See what it would take. Since the game is not very monetized, it definitely makes it a little harder. And by very monetized, I mean monetized at all really because 
you know. It's not like, oh, if we get that one whale, we'll be good. <laughs> or whatever they all uh, say or do. Yeah, I'm sure to get Asmongold to play it would cost like 30 grand an hour or something at least. Probably more. That'd be fun, G. I like that, uh, actually. Moose a streamer now, ask her to play it? Yeah. She'll be like, uh, that'll cost you. Ah, oh, thanks, Killer Wave. Have I considered selling the game? I have. I mean, again, I've thought maybe I'll sell the game for just like $3.99, $4.99 or something. But I also like the idea of it just being a free game and then, you know, if you want to support it, you can. If you don't, that's fine. Have I become a LUM RPG streamer instead of a D2 streamer? I mean, I'm sure I'll, I, I hope I make a game that's fun enough that I want to play it. Microtransactions? Nah, not really. Like I say, it would be, uh, just maybe cosmetics or maybe not even that. Maybe it's just a little badge next to your name that shows You've supported the game. Didn't forget that was not there. Yeah, could could do a Patreon with it or something. Oh God, flightless. I think the Shapers and Brevik play D two. Not really. So, you know, I mean, maybe I'd get tired of by the end of it. Who knows? Ooh, I like that idea. WK. Yeah, this is all for Llama RPG. Maybe 2023? Microtransactions are for wimps. Our game will have macro transactions. If you can't afford to buy the contents of a Maris container ship, Darcy. you can't buy this loot box. Hold on, dog. Your big ol' howls going on. Impossible. No good visuals yet. I mean, it's still in early, you know, phases. Will it go to consoles possibly in the future? I think eventually expanding it to everything will be good. Console, mobile, all of that. Since it's turn-based combat, I think it, it can play well on any system. We miss Daphne? Dude, Daphne's huge now. Oh wait, I need to get upper crust. What's the lore of the game? Uh, you live in a llama alpaca town, you wake up and all the baby llamas, the children have been taken and you um, are going around trying to figure out where they've gone. So you travel out to different lands to try and find them. And along the way, you come across a lot of weird stuff that's going on and you have to help them as well. The basic idea of the lore. Sure, Kirkus. I mean, actually, anything is protected by copyright if you 
are, are the first person to like say it, write it, do it, whatever. Like I'm pretty sure you legally have legs to stand on. Will I make it open source so chat can contribute to it? I don't know if it's going to be open source. I kind of want to build it. I, I mean, I do want chat to be able to contribute to it, but open source, I don't know if that's the way I want to go with it. More just kind of chat can help with pieces here and there, and we'll stream some and whatever stuff. I'd love to have a, a playable demo, maybe just like the first area or something, by uh, the end of the year. That'd be a nice goal, but we'll see what happens. I don't have the eye? Hmm. Um, I started designing a couple years ago and uh, didn't, we got a little bit of the way, but it wasn't nearly as fleshed out and still had a lot to do and whatever stuff. Um, and now I feel like it's uh, a lot better. It's, we've got way more detail and better path forward and all that stuff, so. Number of hours to get through the story. I don't have any estimates on any of that stuff now. I think we have nine zones that you can play through, plus the little side zones and the travel in between and all of that. Um, so that is like, you know, some of it there. Not sure, okay. Um, and then the secret zones, of course. Um, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to say exactly. The demo will just be single player for sure. After that, it'll be single or multi. Hopefully, at the end. But yeah, num number of hours depends on how fast combat goes, what leveling looks like. You know, I'm going to have to do a lot of, like, testing for that. No, I won't. it'll be one person per game. It's not going to be multiplayer in the way of, like, partying and stuff. That is a potential future idea. Potentially. But I'm going to hold off on that for now. Impossible. Impossible. So. But I do think that could be some, like, additional content that gets added in later on would be, like, 
you know, raids or something. Just to have people go to join up, and then you'll just join each other for combat. That's probably what it's looking like. Oh wait, we're on level one. Maybe Llama RPG 2 will turn into MMO or have games with parties and things like that. How do I feel about this dude run so far? I mean, Act 1 was slower than it needed to be because we kind of messed up. Um, Act 2 and 3 have felt totally fine. We need to do a little bit of leveling, but... Otherwise, we're in a pretty okay spot. I could also just go straight forward to cows, since I have to do the cows anyways. And level there. Isn't a terrible idea. Not a lot, Jason. At this point. Quest done, all waypoints achieved. Kane always gives you a soul stone, so don't need to worry as much about that. We're coming up on 22. Like I say it's it's a debate in my mind if we go back or just do cows. We missed that whole Bale wave, which I guess Bale's wave would be a lot of experience for this character. So it probably makes sense to do that. Nice, Cyrus. Alright, worth a little bit. Expected runtime. So if I could go under seven hours, I'd probably be happy here. We'll see though. Hundred percent just takes a while. A lot of stuff to collect. No melee source. Went through a nightmare. We're not sure she'll go much further. No, the world record splits are actually the in-game time splits. It's not. 
computer's still kind of new and not fully set up properly, so it's got some issues in how it's recording stuff. It needs to say IGT and... Why did I choose the druid? I don't know, I thought druid would be fun. Every character has their own, you know, times and stuff, because... Sorry, okay, perfect. You should be able to message me still, Golden. You join, make sure you join the Discord as well. Thanks, Ragdo, you! Like I say, Nor uh, she's onto onto nightmare melee source. Or she's she's at hell now, but I don't know if we'll take her through hell. It's gonna be real bad and slow if we do. The only sad thing is we just got Berserk, but Berserk doesn't do anything, so. We also need to go get our Tele Staff. I think my tech page has Moo Girl's PC. I don't I don't have the, the newest one. This is the new one right there, exclamation mark specs. still nice. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real fast. One sec.
Okay. Uh, River of Flame. Let's get our skill points. Plate mail. And do all that stuff. Okay. Let's go get ourselves a telly staff. So great, Sky. Have I played any more chess? I mean, I, I've been doing puzzles a little bit here and there. Um, I haven't been doing as much less or lately. I hit I hit eighteen hundred blitz, nineteen hundred rapid, and uh, kind of chilled there for the most part. Very happy with that. But yeah, it just you know, take takes a lot of time and everything and Greetings. I always need more time in my life. Yes. Yeah, enjoy your first uh playthrough of the game though. Looking for a staff with teleport charges on it. Yes. Streamers chess championship. I mean, I'm in. The problem is, I I I think at this point I can't get invited to to like streamer chess events. I think I'm now too strong for those events. Like even at like 15, 1600, I was already getting too strong because a lot of the streamer chess events, you know, people are anywhere from like, obviously you have some people down at like 300 to 600, whatever. Um, 800, 900, 1,000, but a lot of the like top players in those events are like 11, 12, 1,300. There's a couple players like Northern Lion and Box Box and things that I think are around 1,400 maybe, 1,500, something around there. Um, but again, you know, it's, when I was 1,600, it was like, okay, that can, that can kind of work. But I, I don't think now it, it will. I think the the games just won't be good games. And, you know, it, it, it's not fun to have a tournament where you have a bunch of people that are, you know, in those ranges. And then someone who's just, you know, going to beat them. So, I'm not trying to humble brag it. I'm literally just saying, when you're setting up a tournament, you need to make sure you have... Proper balance. Oh my god, it's so expensive though. Whatever. It's all our money. I don't know if this is a new game. I mean, that'd be fun, WK. I think Rain, you know, kind of like casually played here and there. 
He definitely was, you know, even even he was too strong for a lot of the tournaments, and I don't remember exactly what his rating was, you know, supposedly to be around maybe like 1300. But a lot of his games, he had to like intentionally make bad moves and stuff to make them seem not just completely terrible. Recommendation slash tips for Fire Claw Druid build. Um, Armageddon is actually really strong. But that kind of goes away from the like Fire Claw piece. I mean, with any of those builds, get your attack rating, you know? is a big thing. Do I like Warcraft 3? Yeah. What was my favorite race? Uh, I have around 200 APM in StarCraft 2. I played Zerg. Um, StarCraft 1, probably a little lower. Maybe like 160, 180. And I played uh, Protoss and then tried learning some Terran as well. I don't, I don't like playing Zerg in StarCraft 1. And I hate playing like Terran in StarCraft 2. Oh good, Wookie. Played Brotoss. Sounds about right. I don't like, honestly, StarCraft 2, Protoss, and Terran. I, I don't like either race. I think Zerg is, is a fun race in StarCraft 2, and Protoss is way too built on, you know, I hated how they had to like, the way they had to survive just with their gateway units, because their gateway units sucked, and then the other stuff, whatever, I hated that and blink stalkers and things and then i hated terran with just their garbage their medevacs and the speed boost on them and all the annoyance of that and uh just how it how it played and their widow mines and stuff just felt like they played kind of cheesy both of those races i think brood wars races are better balanced and more fun in both ways for all the races, honestly. Except maybe Zerg, but. Uh, it does rev, and it's really good. Like that. Did I see the Stormgate cinematic? Yeah. I'm excited for Stormgate. I mean, I've talked with the devs a lot and stuff, and they seem to have, you know, good heads on their shoulders. It reminds me a lot of, uh, you know, like when I talked to Vicarious Visions about Diablo 2 Resurrected. I went in, and honestly, I was a little bit scared, you know? I wasn't, I wasn't sure about all of it, but after having the couple hours to talk with them, I was like, 
yeah, these guys know what they're talking about. They understand the game. They understand what makes the game fun. They, you know, all of that. And I think Stormgate has a similar um, team. Feels like the team really understands why games are fun. So we'll have to see what they put out. RTS, you know, I think can be very difficult even with the understanding still to put something out that is going to be a fun time, but we'll see. All right, we'll do last run for experience here and then that should be good enough. Honestly, you probably don't even need this run. She can drop up to low. Her minions can drop even higher than a low rune, I'm pretty sure. I... Um... I saw Tasteless and Artosis in Korea when I went there. They were casting GSL. Or WCS, whatever it was. No, GSL vs. The World, is that it? So I went and watched that and I saw them casting. But this was before I ever, like, had talked to, the, to them. So, you know, they, they didn't know me, so I didn't go up and say anything. I just kind of watched them cast. But now I've, you know, talked with Artosis somewhat and stuff, and... If he says if I go back to Korea, I, he'll have me over, I can try out his wife's amazing Korean cooking. So, I'd love to go over and visit and hang out with Artie. Impossible. I love Korean food so much. Ghosts have a uh, good drop rate, so... Yeah, the food in South Korea was just splendid. A lot of weird stuff too, I'm not gonna lie, but a lot of delicious things. You could just walk walk down to a little local place and they'd have the best, you know, food you'd eat in there. Chicken galbi and whatever stuff. I mean spicy. Oh, there's one dish that had me crying, but it was so good. Not enough mana. Good to know, Felix. We're like completely different streams. Yeah, a little bit. Fun juxt juxtaposition. Hail to you, champion. What's that? Lightning res 8%. Not a lot, though. I'll put that to good use. Not as much Mario Erotica here. Just a little bit less. Mm, breath of dying in a phase blade? No. Don't do it. Put it in a Colossus sword or something for him. In the FCV. I mean, I love Artie's stream. It's fantastic. Impossible. Impossible. But it is a little bit different from the vibe here. <laughs> I, can't carry it. I forgot I'm supposed to run the opposite way in the chaos for this character.
You gotta make a nice at Thunder Mall or something, maybe. Yeah. Oh god, low resist curse. I was like, I'll show you a firestorm. <laughs> firestorm wars. There's something just poetic about going down into hell and killing the devil with fire. Something truly beautiful about it. Maybe I'm just a sucker for a good story. Says the non Laura guy. Quest completed. Good evening. Act five time. Will my RPG story make you laugh and cry? I don't know if it'll make you cry, but it should make you laugh. High, high requirements. Yeah, I do hope it's good, too. So close to level 24. We've already done a lore run of the game. It's on YouTube. How many times have I beaten this game? Too many to count. Thousands. half a dozen? Oh, at least. 
guess I'll put a point in Volcano. Hmm. Impossible. Impossible. Don't do it, Scooter, it's so bad. <laughs> Gets worse. You're not my dad. All right, have fun. <laughs> what? That didn't even make sense. Th those guys don't do that much damage. Eh, it's okay, Roken. Like, they physically just do not do that much damage. They do like 8, 10 damage a shot. What just happened? Impossible. I think the game bugged. That's all I can all I can say. Rob Gronkowski officially retiring. Yeah, but didn't he already retire once before? And then Tom Brady also retired once before. Retiring doesn't mean what it used to mean anymore. Now it's just like, I just want a little break and then I'll figure it out later. We need a combat log so badly. Llama RPG will have combat log. You'll know it killed you. Impossible. Nice. Only the greatest game coming out. I'm pretty sure Lom RPG is the most highly anticipated game of 2023. TBD. Just from the rumors that I've heard around my house that I started. know people are going crazy not when it's done well when it's done as well I heard it's gonna have ray tracing support and I'm making the game and I don't even know exactly what that is that's how crazy it is Will there be celebrity endorsements? For sure. Mr. Llama SC endorses Llama RPG. I 
Yeah, I don't even know who this ray tracing guy is. You will know, yeah, you'll get a full combat log in the game. I guess I... nope. Didn't tell me who slayed me. How will it compete with Cooley RPG and Dabrinsky RPG? Those games. Would there be hardcore in LAM RPG? I think so. Be bugs in the game? I'm sure there will be bugs in the game. I'm gonna need chat's help. For show. Be a phone game. I think I might port it over to mobile just because you know it's a turn based RPG, which I think is like one of the best things that can be on a phone. But it'll be built for PC. And it won't have loot boxes and pay to win garbage in it. I mean, it has the standard $110,000 needed to unlock all the content. But that's standard, you know. And it's not really pay to win, I would say. Like everybody has 110 grand to put in a mobile game, so. Do I have real people working? No. I just have myself, Evo, no, we'll, we'll, we need to have the Evo raising money fund to buy him, because he's an expensive developer probably, and whoever in chat wants to help out. <laughs> or maybe I'll take on the bulk of it, and then Evo will just help on small pieces, and then Ooh, I like that WK. We'll see how that goes. There will be an uninstall charge. That is that is going to exist, of course. But that's standard in all games as well. Probably no motion controls. Oh. Thank you, Jay Rich. I'll I'll have a Lama RPG Discord channel that I'll put up and we'll do the stuff and whatever. Did I save Anya? 
I don't think I did. No, I have to talk to Mala still. <laughs> Drunk. I'll do Nelithak later. Um, yeah, the TP to Anya is still up, so I just have to find the waypoint. So, it's not actually like a, a time loss, really. Because I still have that available to me. Talk to Mala. A baller helmet. Oh my god. Move. Thanks, ma'am. I can't, I can't carry you. That helmet is insane. Might use that all the way through to end game. Eh, I might put lore on actually. Ivy, thank you very much. I know, I wish. I can't. I actually don't know my halls of anguish layouts very well. I think it's here. There it is, okay. I can't. Yeah, me too, Vio. Here's the helm. Impressive. Two open socket, one to fissure, two to life. But nine light res, eighteen poison res. But getting two open sockets with the plus one fissure and uh, all that, a little bit of res. I wish the life was a little higher. Okay, so this should be, I believe, down here. In the middle waypoint. Yeah, and then left. Oh yeah, flickering flames really nice. I can't. Here? No? Ah, uh, one more. Okay. Impossible. Fourth lane. Halls of the Vot. Classic. It's like getting 25, maybe doing Ancients first is actually the right move. Something around there, Bob. At last.
Moo. Moo. Yeah, I'd probably be like level 27 to 28 right now if I had gotten a little bit more experience. Like, maybe Ancients first, or maybe just getting to 25 at end of Act 4. Could be worth it. Ivy Ertman, Rog, Miam, and Jay Rich, all with the Twitch Prime subs. Thank you guys so much for reminding everybody Twitch Prime subs do not auto renew. Crazy, but they don't. So you're either going to sit there and let Daddy Bezos keep your extra money and go fly to nope. space in How a did weird this rocket. How did you get this many subs out of me? 19 months, Jarvis. Wow. Mwah. Thank you so much. Nobody knows. Move. Nobody knows. Or you, uh... Can use it somewhere on Twitch to support one of your favorite streamers. Doesn't have to be me. It can be somebody else. Lurker drop! Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Ooh. Undertow with the Prime as well. And gonged more. A lot of people saying, Ooh. in your face, Daddy Bezos, not today. It's beautiful to see. Hey, crazy. How you doing? Oh. Yurukalu. For six months. Impossible. Impossible. You kind of what? I can't. It's impossible. <laughs> Do you have to personalize an item? Okay. Yeah. When does ladder start? August, end of August, early September, something like that. Am I gonna play the next ladder? I think I'm actually gonna be gone on vacation for the start of it. Oh, it's really fun, Raga. Oh my god! Hello. I didn't expect to run into 50 Death Lords. Close one. Nah, the ladder's still going on.
You don't lose the character after ladder finish, you just get the, the character moves to non-ladder. Yeah, I have Leaf Stefan. And Shaco, let's go. Ooh, not bad, Sim. Not bad at all. Respecking in hell to fire for bail would be worth it. Because wind just takes so long. You know. Good afternoon. Can't go fire all the way, but... Oh, oops, I didn't mean to... All right, well, we're still there. Go finish all our quests. Salutations. Mm -hmm. Good morning. All quests completed. Uh-huh. How did I choose what to capitalize in the rules? Blind selection. Mm -hmm. 
Good day. for a rod or crystal sword technically or a long sword but one to tornado two to feral rage hello to open socket there's our lore helm Looking for a Brian. Decent little base. <laughs> You're doing gate. Great, Chadia. Steel Clash. How's everybody doing today? Impossible. Roush, thank you for that prime sub from before, by the way. So good. You look good. Submitted May job applications, nice. Good luck. COVID. Good luck. Good luck with that, too. Crystal Sword. Oh. I am. How did Nakamura Rapport end up today? I saw Nepo just go on a terror. Draw. It seemed like it was going to be a draw. There were definitely some winning chances a little bit if like uh, either player went wrong, but they both played really solid, so. Okay, we can probably move forward now. Bye bye, John. All difficulty? Yeah. I know, it's crazy, UBL. I have no clue how. At your service. We'll need a couple more orts. I don't think we're gonna ever find a better amulet. Unless we get plus to druid skills. Oh wait, crap, I forgot the king. Go on back. Why didn't you guys warn me? I can't. I was at the Cow King too, I know. You know, this is chat's fault. I think ultimately we can all agree.
After much discussion, we all believe chat is at fault. Okay, let Nightmare commence. So it begins. Mm -hmm. I know, Raffle. I mean, at this point, I think Hikaru is a streamer first, chess player second. He's just very good at chess still, you know. I'll save it for Ancient's Pledge. Sorry, I was behind on those splits. So, this, this is, is where evil hides. hides. Modded single player on D2R? No, I haven't done any of, the, uh, of these mods yet, because a lot of them are, you know, they're pretty basic, right? What you can mod. You got a fire during early nightmare, that sucks. You, you need to go respec your fire druid. <laughs> Fire Druid is amazing. Do I have a Fire Druid guided playthrough on my YouTube? I think I do, right? Maybe not. Yes? Okay. Yeah, Fissure is where you want to be focused for the main piece of your damage, but. So good. He's changed up a little bit now. Should also have a wind druid that uses fire early and then respects him. Do quests and give an order. You don't have to for this. You can kind of mix and match a little bit. You just have to do them all through. We act before moving on. Planting the dead. Druid. This helmet looks cool too. I like it a lot.
One of those will roll Viper Magi. Yeah, me and Moo Girl finished Normal and Nightmare Act 1. I'd say more worried, but I'm both. I think doing some of the randomizers will be fun. What is happening on this map? This is just a cave, right? Where does the map break off? Does it weasel its way through and go north? Oh, it does. Starburst jelly beans. I can't. Yep. That's honestly Lost Ark is my my fear for Diablo 4. They're gonna lean into the monetization of how Lost Ark does it, where it does end up pay to win, even though it's not the standard pay to win type, you know. Kind of like Lost Ark was testing the waters and pushing that next level of uh, monetization. Being like, how can we incorporate more monetization without making it quite like mobile, but making it still enough where people can spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on the game? And I think Lost Ark has done a good job of making a lot of people feel like, oh, it's totally fine. while still being garbage, you know. A lot of people defend Lost Ark. And it's monetization practices, even though they very much are pay to win. So I could I could see Blizzard seeing Lost Ark and going, ah, there is finally the solution for how to monetize PC games, desktop games. So that's my biggest fear. Because sadly, it really is. I mean, I think that is every, the number one player in Lost Ark, top on the leaderboard, spent 700 grand, probably more by now, on the game. And he still doesn't think the game is pay to win. And that's what they want. You know, I think that that is like music to any marketing expert's ears. Because these games have never had the ability to let you, uh... Korea server. To let you spend $700,000, you know. You physically just can't spend that in D2. You can't spend that in D3. You can't, you know, you can't spend that in all of these places. So, you know, all these companies are finally going to be like, ah, that is how you do it. And that worries me. Forty-five to mana is kind of nice. 
nice, but... Did binary. It was hit or miss. Some shots were really good, some shots are, I couldn't find my driver still. So shot like 89, I think. It's just me. 90, maybe. Well, I mean, will Blizzard sell a full box game and then still implement the additional stuff that Lost Ark has? You know? Potentially. Uh, he tweaked his knee so he couldn't finish. But, I mean, yeah, he'd, he'd been shooting well. He shot 71 before like the week prior and 67 when we played that week prior before so Just the sad state of where gaming is going. Again, this is... People ask what my motivation for starting LUM RPG again is, and honestly it was that. It was just seeing Diablo Immortal. And Lost Ark and, you know, all this stuff. Where every game just had so much monetization focus it felt like nothing was a game anymore. That was just fun to play. So, my motivation then was, well, I, can smell I want to make a fun game again. It's not focused around making you spend a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, I think it'd be you'd be hard pressed to find Diablo 2, you know, being made again today, with the exception of Lama RPG, of course, uh, just because, yeah. Financially, I only say that because I cannot. What do you mean? You know, mobile games just outproduce everything. Candy Crush is, you know, more profitable than all of Blizzard's, like, IP combined or something. If I could make a game that takes everyone's money, wouldn't I? No. I, I don't know, this is, this is kind of like when people, because I'm agnostic, and people will be like, well, how can you not go around and just murder everybody and steal and do a bunch of crime if you don't believe that there's a god who will punish you for it? And I'm like, is that, I don't know, just be a good person because it's a good thing to do? Like, is that the only reason that you're a good person? So I feel it's a similar idea. Well, if you were in that position, wouldn't you want to screw everyone over and take all their money? No? <laughs> and I'm not trying to hate on anybody's religion here. Just that one argument that people bring up. Y'all believe whatever you want to believe, man. I do not care. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like common decency exists for many, 
but for some it does not. And usually for those some, it's the ones who crave power and money the most, which are the people who then, you know, step on whatever necks, blah, 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 whatever stuff to get into the positions where then they can abuse that power. And, you know, it's kind of, you kind of get rewarded, right? Kind of like politicians. The best politician is the person that never would want to run GG. for that position. Do love some druid. Thank you, prolific! So we always end up with pretty garbage politicians usually, because, well, it's usually the people that are not cut out for it. Don't, 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 don't. Um, max telekinesis. Do you go for synergies or add extra cold? Go for synergies. Maybe just like a, a couple points or something there. You want to get up to about minus 100 to 150% with all your plus to skills. Ah, I should have done Armageddon. It's actually nice. Hi, Moo. Sorry, it's so late. It's okay. Thank you for lunch. Mm. Oh my god. Moo. Moo, you gotta come say hi to all your fans. All my boyfriends. All your boyfriends. They're all like, when is Moo Girl streaming again? <laughs> like, Shut up, I'm streaming. They're like, yeah, but is Moo Girl gonna stream soon? So I think this is just the Moo Girl waiting channel at this point. <laughs> <laughs> we just kind of hang out here until Moo Girl decides she wants to stream. Wow. Hear that, chat? You gonna let her say that? Sub to, to prove her wrong. <laughs> Trying something. Okay. <laughs> oh, you do got your glasses on. Oh, yeah. No subs. Rip. Alright, never mind. She's right. <laughs> Please keep your day job, Moo Girl. We have a house. We have a house payment coming up. Mortgage payment. Now, Moo Girl, will you will you come come on here? Come hither. Yeah, like come around a little bit. Oh, gross. What's it? <laughs> really? Yes. yes. Yeah, Moo Girl is the best. Hold on. Well, now she's running away. I can't. In the way of what? Oh. Yeah, we have to figure out the TV thing here. Oh, come on! The multi enchant. That's garbage. She is, I think that might have even been, no, it was dual enchanted. Ugh, so gross. Moo Girl is the best. Every day, she comes in here and she brings me lunch so that I don't die. <laughs> because I am a child who cannot get lunch myself. <laughs> and we appreciate it so much. And she does so much hard work around the house. Yesterday I went golfing and she cleaned and we just it's we and uh, was was very kind and nice Moo? and uh, She went and I needed a whiteboard so I could write stuff down and do fun drawings for you guys and she did that 
So she's the reason you're always eating on stream. She is the reason I'm always eating on stream. He used to starve himself. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. So. If we can all just donate a dollar for Moo Girl. I mean, I mean just get Put our hands together for Moo Girl. Give a little clap. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mugurai. Yeah, I do appreciate how helpful and great you've I'll been. I'll sell you his underwear. Ian. What? Moo girl. <laughs> Let me know you want the clean ones and the dirty oh, ones. Oh, gross. <laughs> Most of them have holes regardless. <laughs> Does she endorse my candy addiction? No. No. Uh, can you put that in the trash? I looked for these everywhere. Yeah, I hid them. So you wouldn't no. steal all my candy. I put them everywhere in the grocery store. Oh. Where are they? Where are they everywhere here? Oh, they're all over So glad Moo Girl bought me a house. All right. I have a laugh for every I don't know if bought you a house is exactly right. Is it in her name? Maybe. Did she put down the down payment? Supposedly. Is she going to take care of that mortgage with her real job? Most likely. Is she going to put me on her insurance? So I don't have to pay $500 a month for garbage insurance? Definitely. But does that mean she bought me a house? Or was it a joint thing because we do everything together? That's the real question I have for you, chat. Join my army of the dead. Here's a dollar to Moo Girl to make sure you're fat and sassy. <laughs> also, thank you for all the guided info and videos that you do. Aww, you the best. You the you the best. I can't. Aww, that's nice, Chris. You would also let me live in a little condo? Well, that's nice. Oh. Nothing wrong with my fire suit. Well, when I had to put the earnest money or the option money, whatever, down, I was having trouble getting it. And Moo Girl was like, oh, okay, I'll get it. Because I forgot my wallet with my card in it. And I was like, hmm, that's not a great start. Essentially, Bartok. She's a bear. Help me. We appreciate Moo Girl. Fort Run. We do appreciate Moo Girl. She's actually pretty cool. Mm. 
Am I doing normal towers? What's going on here? Moo. What up, James? Thank you so much. Looks like your hell countess drops. Feel that. The only non normal rune drop so far was an ort rune. And it was from not even the countess. Last time I queued a Dota game? Years ago. you are well. I am close to concluding the test we discussed pertaining to the existence of hidden variables. Yay. Apologies for taking so long. Also, the units of measure for damage over time in your game should be dollars per second. I like it. I just did a hundred dollars per second. Let's go. That's actually how you kill monsters in Llama RPG. Whenever a mob comes up, you you throw dollars at it. So you have to demonetize the monster. Monsters have different immunities, but none of them are immune to money. Sad thing is, that actually seems like a game that would be built. Now 
at least it would be more honest. Do I plan on translating my game to other languages? Um, I guess I would need some people to help out with that, would be my thought. Okay, I mean, it's actually not terrible because we did need Oort runes. So... Okay, so we have Ral, Oort, Tal. I need another Tal rune. No, I don't. Tal, Thol, Oort, Am. And we just need Sol. 26, of course. That's like nine spirits I've rolled. I've been like 25. Am I letting the community contribute to Lama RPG? Yeah, I think uh, having community help will be beneficial. I'm not sure how to make it like, it, or if I want to make it fully open for help because I would worry that there would be too much, you know? Like, too many cooks seems like a bad thing. I already have the design. A lot of it is just... Things have to get done. So, like, you know... We need the inventory system built. We need all of this. Like... All of that is just stuff that's gonna be needed. But, yeah, I, I don't have a full good idea of how to do that. I've never developed a game before, so, you know. Inventory items have size like D2 or weight like Elder Scrolls? I think size. Though, and I might hate myself for doing this, but I'm debating just doing the single slot style. Just based on how weapons are in the game. Ah, I mean, maybe it'll still be. I don't know. It feels like it makes more sense with the current state of the game to just have single slot for item in inventory. Because, you know, it's a turn-based RPG, and so it's, 
Yeah, I don't know. That actually has some question to it. Okay. Of course, Hunk. Like, I love inventory Tetris. But I feel like inventory Tetris makes more sense in, you know, not this kind Ooh. of game. Thanks. Thanks, you and hell. What's that way? The the weight way? I mean, maybe it's just item weight. I think I think we might end up on weight. But Nah, uh, because you're not really picking up items, you're kind of getting items at the end. That's the thing, it's like, you kill a monster, and then you get... Right. So, I mean, it could be size, where you just have to, like, you see your inventory and the stuff that you're getting, and you have to move stuff around. Where do the monsters come from? They're just be, they'll be hanging out. Hey, there's our soul rune. They'll just be hanging out on maps. Good day. Yeah, they'll be like wild beasts in their natural habitat, is kind of my thought. I think you're not actually killing anything. I think it'll be knocking out. Like Pokemon, where you make them faint. Uh, I mean, 98 is the best level. It just depends how high you want to go with leveling. Yeah, a little bit of Sonic and a little bit of Pokemon, maybe. You're knocking them out to save them or something like that. <laughs> Yes, mastery. 
withdrawal only. Um, but yeah, I, I actually haven't come up with my solution for item sizing or anything like that, but I do think at the same time, it could either be single item and you just have limited item slots, or it could be items have different sizes and at the end of an encounter, it pulls up your inventory and the items the monster dropped. And then you have to kind of grab whatever you want from those items and move them into your inventory and fit in however you want to fit it in. I think both of those are Very nice lap. I can't. So, a little bit TBD. Well, I want people they to be able to keep cool items they find, even if they're not going to use it, you know? Jugu gifted a tier 1 sub to JDI underscore 9. See, the thing is, we, we have such a nice amulet already. But Mahim, 10 all attributes, 10 all res. Oh my gosh. We lose the MF though. It's a tough one. I actually don't know if Mahim is better. So it's like the same energy and life. A little more res, but I lose the MF. But it also has cold res and such, right? Oh, uh, well, no. It, yeah, it's all of them. So it's 3% all res, minus 3 life, minus 3 energy, but 10 more strength and dexterity, which, you know, could be useful later on, potentially. I think my amulet's still going to be better for now. But I'll probably shift over to this one eventually. my thoughts if I find something yeah if something needs more strength then this one will gain the value twenty one MF is huge when you don't have any MF. If that was Nokazin I probably would have run Nokazin but wow so many Thal runes today. But Mahim is a pretty weak Fine, sadly. Wait, did I get the waypoint? I don't think so. Go back for it. I'll switch to wind here at some point. Okay. You're just getting unlucky. But LK is probably the best place. Oh. 
Thank you, Zeal. Quarter staff. Fury Druid time. Just kidding, kind of. Points and quests done for Act One. Greetings. It does, Nard. Two eighty two per cent. Give that to our uh, sorceress, right? Melee source. She'd actually do much better with that. It sure is hot out. My god, it's so hot. I mean, I did the fire druid through hell, and honestly, with the amount of physical damage that Armageddon and Volcano and stuff were putting out, I had no problems. I was majorly surprised at how well it did. So you can definitely fire druid the whole game now. Join my army. That guy did play through. If you on like YouTube. visceral combat with depth, you might want to consider playing Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 Hardcore, especially with the SCS mod installed. The downside, of course, is that you'll likely want to skip all of the lore, which I assume you would not enjoy. Sounds Baldur's right. Gate 1, Baldur's Gate 2, and Diablo 2 are among my favorite games of all time. Nice. You think fire greater than wind? Think it's actually faster? I mean, it definitely moved really fast. sure if there's one yet for this hell druid Oh, I love Normageddon so much. Um, the new Cham Rune words are mm, still just okay. I think that it's still better to put your Cham Rune in. Um, like a Shaco or something for his Earth Barb or whatever. Mm. 
Yeah, but he's following different rules for it, so it's kind of... Oh, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, I, I know he is, because he's doing the rules where you don't have to do all the quests in that act immediately. You can save them for later. I did Rabies Druid before, but I haven't done it since the update. Like I say, I still am wondering if I do want to switch into fire for killing Duri or Bale. Or maybe we switch to melee and kill him with our rib cracker. Try and finish him off fury style. Well, I just need to kill the cow king in hell. So... Fury Herb Cracker would be fun, but I'm sure it would also be terrible. But it's got 50% chance crushing blow, I mean, the first hits would be nice. And Wind Druid on Bale is just the worst thing ever. Wait, why would I hit him in human form? That eth. Oh, you mean still have spells available? Oh, I get what you're saying. Impossible. Eh, I think going Fury is more fun. Did they change Maggot Lair to area level 85? At least level three. Yeah. Or all of, no level wasn't level three eighty four or what are the other ones eighty four and it was I thought it was eighty three eighty three eighty four. But maybe it's eighty four eighty four eighty five. That's how it was. Do Arctic Blast for Bale? I don't know if we hate ourselves that much. Ooh. Isabel, thank you. Appreciate that.
How do people do those Zelda trackers? I know this question is a little random, but I was just thinking. You know when they do like Zelda randomizer and then they have a giant thing that tracks all the stuff that they've gotten and what stuff they have left to do and things? Is that automatic? Is that just a, a screen that they just click what they got? Move. Love the stream. It's automatic. Keep it up, okay. llama. Man, we really need somebody to make something to read Diablo 2. Well, Pacha, thank you. Where they read, like, if you kill a super unique or something. That way we could really do 100% runs with every super unique listed and stuff. Evo! No, he's busy on llama RPG. Don't bother him. Well, just in single player. They don't care? Yeah. Problem. Why is that teleport not working? Teleport charges do not work well in this game. That is one thing that needs to be looked at as well. They just don't go off a lot of times. Yeah, but it's only for teleport charges that you run into all of these dead zones and stuff. Regular teleports, fine. It's just on charges. So I'm not sure if it's actually a dead zone thing or if it, it is, if it has to do with like, it probably has to do with the update. of how it updates an item. Kind of like when you try and identify an item and sometimes it fails to identify. Maybe it's similar to that. It has to like... It has to do with the swap, you think? Doesn't fully like... I, I don't know. I don't know, I let circle it. I don't know, but I've died too many times from it. It's very tiring. Yeah, you'll use a lot of potions for a long time on Sorceress. I still don't have gloves. Or boots. Corpse explosion's broken. I know that one. Tupac. Good day. Welcome to the desert rain. Dun, 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 dun. Don't say it, ghost. Good day. They're actually decent gloves with the... Oh, it's Nova. I thought it was Frost Nova. Greetings. Corpse Explosion is now broken in that it... Um, 
We'll just use those for now. It's not highlighting everything properly. So it'll highlight over alive monsters as well. And try and like explode them, but then you can't, and so Moo. Three plus one like your ankle after climbing. Ouch. NFT farms for 37 months. Leave my ankle alone. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty uh, bad now with, with that. Impossible. Peace failing. Wait, I thought I repaired. Guess not. I, uh, I guess I did fail to do so. Make it look so easy, but it's not. I mean, I will concur. When I first started watching people play Diablo 2 on stream, I was and like speed run a little bit. I was like, man, that looks so easy. It's dece deceiving. Oh, did you see? Sanctuary. I mean, map knowledge is easy at a basic level, much harder as you get more advanced and you're starting to understand all of the tiles and where everything, you know, like, is how it dead ends, all of that stuff. Um, it, it definitely gets more Ooh. intense the more you get into the, the map knowledge piece, because there's a lot of things that start to really just get possible. wild when you're having to like know all the tiles. But, thank you, Shredder. I think one of the harder things to do for moving fast and, and speed running. Ow. Yeah, you, you'll notice I turn around before, before a lot of you do, and Bender probably turns around even slightly before I do, you know, like. The better you get at reading maps, the earlier you can turn around, which just saves you a second here, a second there, and you know, that's that's huge in speedrunning. Um, but I think I think the hardest thing is just how you have to, you know, be willing to, to jump into danger and always be able to calculate when you're gonna be okay and when you're gonna die. I think that's the hardest thing to really learn and get good at. And then being able to survive in said situations. But a lot of a lot of times when you're uncomfortable, if you're, you know, not as advanced for speedrunning, what I notice is there's a lot of hanging back, killing a few extra mobs. Hey, first way. And the better you get, the more you're gonna run past stuff, the more you're gonna dive in on the deadly monsters. All that stuff. Impossible. I like champion beetles. So, that's usually what I would say is my biggest advantage over someone else. Once, because there's a lot of stuff that you can, you know 
get and do and whatever learn but and then just getting faster at you know the the game just in general okay practice ouch ouch saw that coming <laughs> good day <laughs> tried to hide in my corner Ugh, dual enchants are so gross. I'm not running rejuves yet, and I really should The be. hardest thing is learning to not kill everything. I've always done that, and I'm just learning to skip a few here and there. Yeah. It really is tough. You have such a, a general desire, I would say, to kill everything. It's natural. Yeah, stuff like that can just be really hard because dual enchants are so busted that usually by the time you figure it out that it's a dual enchant, you're already in a tough situation. And then you're taking like 10x the damage you should be taking. So it kind of puts you in... Tricky spots. Impossible. Ain't nobody holding John in Nightmare Tombs, I'll tell you what. But, it's okay. I mean, this is still experience and everything down here, so I'm, I'm not like... Oh no, it's horrible. Many deaths can be more, you know, worth way more or way less. So, like, that damage didn't have very much, you know, very many repercussions. Some deaths will then take minutes and minutes and minutes to, like, resolve. Mr. Llama, big fan, colon closing parenthesis. I hope you're doing well and still living your dream. We love you and support you through the daily grind you do. Thank you. So even if you are here every day, it may not feel special anymore. It's still special for us getting to see you. Aww. That's too sweet of a message. What did you do to chat? This isn't the chat that I know. Jesus, like players hate Duriel, it feels like. Thanks, Kirsch, and I hope everything's going well with you. And your mama. Oh yeah, it can get nasty there, Kozatron. Join my game. Sure. Thank you. That's what I was Open to see. That's what we needed. Daryl, you are a pain. Guess I should have my army getting up, huh? Oh wait, ooh, Kajal. To the druid skills. It's a fun one. Unfortunately, we have spirit. If this was old speed running, that'd be a great find right there. Honestly, going into Act Three, I think I will just move over to Spirit and Ancient's Pledge. And lore. It is an honor to serve you. 
Uh, let me double check I have everything here. Talk to Mashif. All waypoints. Perfect. Act 2 done. Get it, one shot. Good day. Act three time. Correct, Hirun. Yeah, cannot be frozen is just one a one point wonder. I say point, but affix wonder. Same with half freeze duration. It doesn't actually stack to be like 75% or double up or something like that. Which I do think would be an interesting mechanic if it did. If two half freeze durations could equal one cannot be frozen, so then that affix now suddenly like gains more value. I've always thought that could be kind of fun. Decide how you want to get it, you know? Or two halves equals one fourth, but then it's, you know, you still need cannot be frozen at that point. So I kind of like the idea of it being uh, two halves make a hole, and then you good to go. When will I spec in the win act for it? Yeah. Jade figurine. Looks like Jade. Perhaps it's worth something. Our lobby's gonna finally be good? I hope so. Poison duration is one of the wonkiest things Join my in the game. The Any idea what you'll be playing for the sub only 4th of July celebration? Sub only 4th of July celebration. I didn't realize we were having that. Uh, I'm gonna be on vacation for 4th of July with my family, so. I don't think we get to have any stream. I'll be gone from like the 2nd to the 7th, I think. But, maybe Moo Girl can stream in the, in that time. Keep you guys busy. What about my internet family? Well, I spend every other day with you guys. Impossible. Mugger will take over the melee necro speedrun. Perfect. Strength for mesh, that's right. But, eh, six mana. Can we get a Moo Girl vs. stream? I mean, she'll, she'll, she'll participate. We're doing man vs. stream this weekend. So, she'll be a part of it. Hopefully, not pieing me in the face and stuff, but, you know, better ways. Slash sugar mama. Mm. 
No more hot peppers. No. Less than 24 no. months subscriber only message. Greater than. Oh, that's a funny message. Thank you, Mouse! Appreciate that. What did Kirsten ask? Dude, that Diablo sauce was so hot. Do I have a Let's Play Amazon? Uh huh. Exclamation mark guides. If you go to my, I mean, honestly, it's not even, I was going to say go to my website, but that doesn't even have all the fully, full of them updated. So I would say go to exclamation mark YouTube and just type in let's play and or a guided playthrough. Both of, both of those will be the ways to see them. Yeah, traps don't count for man on kill because they have, they're considered as minions essentially. So. Little, they're a little weird. They're turrets, yeah, I mean. Turret assassin is strange. I like trap better. Griffins does not boost your traps. But it gives you the 105 FCR, which is the only really good way to get that, or the only way to get that if you're running dual claw. So that's why it's such an important item for trap assassins, because there's no other way to get 25 FCR on the helmet. And so that's the only way to get to the 105 breakpoint. But that confuses a lot of people. I would doubt so, Riff. For sure, Theor. Right, and the FCR also doesn't work for laying traps, so yeah, it's just confusing all around. Definitely one of the more confusing characters and items. Mm -hmm. Suicide branch fan build. I mean, I'd rather run a Hodo. And I think Flickr still takes over. Exclamation mark guides. If you go to my icy veins, I have um, a fire druid guide there where I put down what I think all the best in slot stuff is. Considering you're not going for like end, end, end game, you know, 0.01% gear things. You know, I did the more standard best in slot that's more achievable by most players. I'll respec uh, next act.
Did they bring that bug back, Departure? I thought they fixed it. CS Diablo. I mean, I think Hell Andy is better if you're looking for the more basic items, and CS Diablo is better for experience and like more of the higher end items. Where is this waypoint? Over down in this bottom right corner. Right there in the middle? Has to be. I see nowhere else. Yep. Oh yeah, we're smashing on right now. I say our start was a little slower than desired, but we're moving. Yeah, burst of speed's really nice. Jidbin. Uh, let's go Flare Jungle. Anything $1 plus Gindrus. Moo. Do I see that correctly? 100% speedrun? You do. How's it going, Ale? Practice for man vs. stream. Ah, uh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, it's down there. Hate that. Annihilation, you mean Armageddon? I'm just starting to max it now. Though it might be better to put more into Volcano, honestly. This does have nice damage, so I guess we'll keep going Firestorm. Ben. Let's roll, baby. Have I done Wolf again? No, but if I go into Fury, I guess I could do Armageddon mixed with Fury if I wanted. Ah, uh, well, no, because I have to put the points in Wolf and Master Lycanthropy and Fury, so never mind. Never mind. 
never mind. I think it'll be a slow but fun finish if we do it that way. the life. This will go like that. I have a teleport staff. That does kind of look like the chest, maybe. So if that's right, then it should be up at the top right here for where we need to go. So it should be. See you, Kirsten. Have a good one. Oh, there's chest, so it is the bottom way. Okay. Uncovering all of the map run. These Act 3 waypoints have been really annoying. A caster amulet. Move. Watching your part Team one with Moogirl. Here's my prime sub to pay her back for the house. Fair point. Thank you very much, Team Ed. We are only 50,000 subs away from paying her back. Can we get there? No, I bought my house. Enough. You take a small loan and all of a sudden she bought you a house. You. Oh wait, I did bad math. A hundred thousand subs away. Mm. 
nothing crazy. Spicy. I was just saying the Twitch ones. Does YouTube sub do anything? I mean, look, any of the free things that you guys can do, following the channel, subscribing to YouTube, following on Twitter, liking posts, liking videos, leaving comments, um, talking in chat, watching the stream, etc. All of those, like, work. and are great for the stream. Thank you, Jador. Thanks, Ubio. So, you know, it's like all of that is helpful still. If I could have a stream where I had, you know, a thousand or 5,000 Twitch subs, or if I could have a stream where I had a hundred thousand viewers, but none of them subscribed to the channel, the hundred thousand viewer stream would end up making way more money and be way, you know, better. So it's like, that's just kind of the, the nature of it there is. Because then sponsors, things like that would pay more and you'd draw more viewers in and you'd get more news articles and Whatever stuff, right? All, all of the things. So. Yeah, never, uh, you know, never be like, oh, well, I'm not doing anything because I can't Twitch sub or whatever. I mean, that's totally fine. If you can't, don't. But there's still tons of ways that you can help a streamer out. I mean, I definitely got less sponsorship offers and things like that when I had, you know, under 100k followers. 100%. Oh. Totally all good with that, Uvio. Oh. Bombastic86 gifted a tier 1 sub to Marsal0x. Alright, what is this map? I can't see how Moogirl thinks you are an underachiever. You're through 7 acts already. Right. Yeah. Show her. Thank you, TM, Ale, Gimmick, Bombastic, and Gingras. I honestly have no clue where to go. Further out right here. Ouch. I mean, you know, but that does drive, you know, view botting and makes the value of that higher, right? So you see more streams that you bought or do whatever shady things to have more viewers in their streams. That's just a natural 
thing that's gonna happen Hello. from it. Ah, thanks, Mick. Ah, oh, thanks, Gimmick. Oh. Cheers. Shit. And that hit me. And thank you, Phoenix. Ouch. No, I'm not saying view bot, but don't tell me about it. I'm just saying there's a reason that that has been such an effective tool. Even though a view bot costs money, right? I do not. Might be time to just respec, honestly. No. Does my sub count as passive investing? Sure, why not? Prime subs count as passive aggressive investing, exactly. Passive aggressive towards daddy. Where do I shop a bear passive? Saigons, everybody take a drink. Oh yeah, I just need to talk to Bashira. That's right. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All quest, all waypoints, Mephisto is Ooh. done. Hey, hey. Move. What up, Jays? Does Anya not sell pelts? Nobody sells pelts. You just gotta find one that has plus to bear. But I mean, the points to get there as well aren't horrible because they all help the bear, so. But it would be nice to find. But then, I mean, at the same time, I'm wearing my lore, and I kind of want to keep using lore. So unless it's like plus one to druid skills as well or something. Oh yeah, we'll 
come back for that, I guess. Uh, five NATO would also be nice. We have our one to NATO. Which ain't bad. Alright, I just will. He's probably, I'm guessing he's straight north of us. I'm gonna run right to him, where I think he is. Okay, I was wrong. I thought he would be up there. A lot of times with this exit, he'll be right in there, I feel like. Souls are gross. Oh wait, I should have put that point into Hurricane. Nice icons. Resistances in hell are gonna be rough. My rings, belt, and boots all don't do anything for me. That's gonna be a problem if we don't find some improvement. Once one person starts it, everybody goes. Classic. Nice, Admiral. You want to know yours, but don't want to contribute. It's okay, just do it. Everybody's doing it right now. Hey, just go. I will say I'm very disappointed in our uh I mean the cold. I'm very disappointed in the lack of unique items and set items that we found. Usually running that 21 MF plus we have a little bit more in our inventory, so we're probably more around like 30 something MF. Usually that'll drop, you know, a Hisaris boots or something like that, but Blood fist, whatever. But we've been real dry on our drops. Even rare gloves and things like that have been basically non-existent, it feels like. I found two unique swords, a unique axe from Bale, and a steel clash, 
I guess it's just been I'm disappointed in how awful all of those have been. One more unique as well. The Mahi Moak. That was it. Oh, and Rib Cracker. That's right, we did get Rib Cracker. So, yeah, not a lot of sets, but just not good drops. Because we also found the Cudgel. Yeah, all right, never mind. We found enough uniques. Just all the wrong items. And no rare boots or rare gloves have dropped, I'm pretty sure. the druid 46 or 48 full rune I can make a wisdom but that doesn't really matter for this character so that's pretty useless um Ral, P amethyst uh, it's such a nice jewel though no reason for it one to necro no It's like 46.75, does that sound right for Druid's FCR frames? I do think breakpoints are still an interesting mechanic, but I also am fine if they're not, you know, existent. Because they are hard for newer players to figure out, and attack frames are annoying. 46-68. Ah, the spirit actually wrecks me then. So we're at 51, so I need another 20. If I got a better spirit, we would have been good, but... Mercenaries die easily. That would have been nice to be up at fifty eight, but that's okay. Rolling a thirty three plus is going to be hard, you know, so. I guess we just need two FCR rings if we want to get to that next breakpoint. Yeah, the, the amulet I have is plus 9, so that would get me to 60, so I still would need another 10. But I'd be losing energy, life, all res, and I mean, again, I'm already struggling on resistances, so I, I'm not sure it's worth it. I mean, probably when you find, like, Suicide Branch, Spectral, that sort of stuff. Ugh, I keep finding Saigons, man. 
Viper Magi. Those are the like, yeah, fine to the life. Good life for Rez. Prasnova chances neither, but it's not the worst thing. Okay, all quests done in Act 4. All waypoints gotten. Act 5. Yeah, they really should unadorned. Reminder, we will watch The Boys Season 3, Episode 3 tonight after uh, this run. We've been watching that episode a week. So we're on episode 3 now. And if you stick around to watch, it also supports the stream. The only thing is you do need to have Amazon Prime because the way that the watch parties work is it has to be through Prime Video. So I can only watch with other people who have it. Otherwise, well, then I would just be streaming illegal content, right? What's better to play, two or three? I mean, I think three by a long shot, but I'm a little biased. Hit an axe to or to my first smiter. Yeah, I mean, it's probably workable. Probably Bender does, but this is, uh, not. I, I'm playing slightly different rules. I, I don't like their 100% rules as much that they've set up, so. They don't require you to finish all quests while you're in the current uh, act. You can just come back at the very end and go do all of them. And they also didn't have you have to do all waypoints before, but I think they're adding that in now. Yeah, two versus three. I mean, the people, a lot of times, the people who like three don't like two as much or enjoy two, but it's not like their favorite thing. And the people who really love two don't like three much at all. But you do get a mix and match. I mean, there's definitely some people that enjoy both of them. All right, yeah, we're just drawing the worst sets and uniques. Oh yeah, I gotta save the barbs. I like the uh, mute girl. She's, she's probably one of my favorite characters. Kamiko, thank you. Homelander is also 
I mean, y you hate him, but right now I'm actually really excited because he just, you know, blew up on everybody and was like, forget all of you guys. I'm going home and doing my own thing. So I'm actually excited to see what happens there. You're a Starlight fan. I mean, we're all Starlight fans. Simping for Starlight over there. Sadly, if superheroes were real, I see it going the exact way. I mean, yeah, I, I think it would be very similar. Homelander is the, like, everything that you would imagine a superhero kind of ends up like. There it is. Just like so scary. <laughs> True fear of uh, trying to keep a psychopath sane. fish guy. <laughs> oh, I do love him as well. What a character. Oh, he's there, bae. Gotta do what we can. Gotta love him, he's so worthless. Not a ton, except that they're gonna fix. Oh god. That might even be prior, I don't know. We gotta fix up Kane. Make it so he identifies the cube. This is way too many Blood Lords to feel comfortable in here, just. My goodness. Light source supposed to have mana issues end game? She definitely can. But a lot of times light source ends up running yes, so then she doesn't. in here. Probably our exit there. Hey Bell, how you doing?
Everybody's got to be a death lord, huh? The game does love us! Wow, we finally found something. Good lord. That magic find took forever to pay off. Twenty-five, twenty-five, let's go! Sixteen twenty-three, not bad. Not bad at all. Now Mahi Mok becomes better. Magic find, you did us well. Eventually. Yeah, I'm still five strength short. I wonder if the waypoint can be on the same Lane is that portal something I need to look into? Food alluded. Nope. Fool me once. Level me up. Right here. Shabang! Oh, it feels so good. Better. Now our resistances will at least be positive. Shaba Dalu. Thank you, K Win. And the 40 faster run walk is actually huge. Matt's boots are like my favorite booties, man. Oh, I mean, elders and stuff are, you know, nice, but something about Nat's boots and a speed run that's just so good. Only 65 strength as well, compared to, you know, like elders, it's gonna be, what, 95 or something? Moon. Moon, thank you. Yeah, I mean, elders give life and fire res, so, like, don't get me wrong, they're good. But it's just so much strength that takes forever to get there by the time you're actually putting them on, using them, all that stuff. Impossible. Like that, like this, like here. Two to summoning skills. I guess I'm one short still, and let's do this and this. Oops. 
help dun, you. Dun. Okay. We can just push escape. And now, with Anya saved, our resistances are almost maxed in Nightmare. Which is nice. So for hell, now our resistances will be workable. And I mean, we have cyclone armor, so of course it's like, oh, you don't need resistances. But then if once the cyclone armor drops, you definitely need a little bit of something. I use escape. Yeah, there's no clues when it's running out, unlike bone armor. You just have it, and then you suddenly don't have it. <laughs> and it's even thinner than bone armor, so it's even hard to see when it's worn off. If you're looking around at something else. Well, this isn't a skill timer. This is when you take get hit, you take damage. So, but there's no visual indicator or anything that says how much damage left until it wears off or anything. So that's just the hard part. Should probably put a little more gear because I gotta wonder where I'm getting my plus to strength from. Maybe it's a charm. One to strength on the charm. And then the 10 from Mahim. I think that's it. I think I just need one more strength and I can drop that charm. I mean, I think one of the nice things about Diablo 2 is that it isn't UI grossness like a lot of MMOs. Like, I have to actually agree here with Ubio. It's one of the beautiful things about D2, how little stuff actually is on your screen compared to when you play, like, World of Warcraft and your whole screen is just filled with junk. So, that's something I'll aim for in uh, Llama RPG as well. Trying to keep the game more free of clutter. Yeah, I think Cyclone Armor would just need to be... It has three things swirling, so just every time a third of it comes off, you just remove one of the swirls. Yeah, and make it for a little slower or something. Hey, Evo. <laughs> How you doing? How's Llama RPG development coming? And by that I mean... When are you free?
How's MVS testing coming? Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're both doing great. Everyone living up to expectations. Yep. Hitting hard. Gross, golden champ. That was about as smooth as you could play that wave. Wow. That was a smooth fight on the cold enchant. Yeah, that was awesome. The conversion to a T1 sub. Thank you so much. Means a lot. Really appreciate that. Okay. So here it's either. Way or far right, left. Okay. Doesn't look over here. Point probably here. I need to look at Halls of Pain and Anguish maps for from the center, not just from Waypoint. Yeah, I just gotta remember how to find it from entrance. Yeah, I know them all from Waypoint, but 
Not from entrance, that's all. Seventeen auras, too. Hello. Okay, all quests done, all waypoints done. Let's do the cows. Wait, I think I have it in my stash. Hello. Why isn't that fixed? I don't know. Bernie. sometimes imbue and personalization quests work like 75% of the time or something but it always works in the classic mode so you can always just swap over to classic to make it work both those amulet rolls. That last one was really nice. 17 all res, 53 poison res. 9 FCR, 8 FCR, and plus one to paladin skill. Still almost worth using, but just for the resistances and the FCR. I mean, I might just put in 10 more attributes and then use it because then we just need one FCR ring and we'll get ourselves to the 68 point which would be nice yeah kill the king Got the one additional point. I can't carry it. Yeah, I got another point from that. Take a look. Um, Necro, wait, where is it? Paladin, 8, 17 mana, 17 all res, yeah. Oh, hi. I mean, I lose 20 life, but gain 7 all res and 8 FCR. Probably worth it. Actually, I lose 40 life, so maybe not worth it.
But seven more all res will be nice. Mostly the FCR that we'd really be wanting from it, I think. It's the main purpose there. So I guess if I find another 10 FCR. Oops, bail, nightmare is done. Interesting. Yeah, that was a confusing one. Nice, Nard. take cold plane's waypoint, right? Unless for some reason I didn't grab it. We'll run back to it. Son of a gun. My brain still functions on the any percent style, so... Every now and then the 100% stuff confuses my mind. Maybe we can find a gem shrine in the stony field and do one more roll attempt at that druid amulet. Monster shrine, darn. Another flawless amethyst. Okay, just need one more. One more and we're Gucci. So this is where evil happens. Cute, Phil. So, this Unfortunate is stone skin roll. Hello there. percent speed run so sorry we're in here
Plus, we'll need our respect. I mean, I have the normal one, but now we can have a respect for Bale. And like I say, we can either go into fire if I if we want to do a real Bale kill. Because I think that will be faster than wind. Mm, maybe not, actually. Fire on bosses has kind of been weaker. Tornado is actually pretty decent on him. But... I kind of just want to go into Rib Cracker and have a little fun to finish this dude off. Take a couple extra minutes. Bad grief. Hey man, grief is grief. The worst grief is better than the next item. Okay, let's see. Field time. Putting Bramble on him exactly, but I don't think it hurts you. gonna jam vitality for now. If we need strength we can get it later. Hmm. Yeah time to move into two rows of juvies. That's fine. Kind of one of those. If you if you have the space, and I feel like our juve to output collection has been pretty good. And I, this character doesn't really need a lot of mana at all, so, I mean, lore, you know, and everything kind of takes care of it. Yeah. 
should have dodged that. Another unique amulet. Son of a gun. It's the same skin too. My least favorite skin. Sounds about right, Nerd. I guess we can build a bear. One to tornado, two to heart of the wolverine. Excuse me. Gazoon tight. Thank you, Nisambo. How you doing? Favorite class or build in D2? Um, I mean, I've, I've played the most sorceress probably. I really like the bow is on. She's not quite. Uh, you know. That's good. It takes a little bit to get her going, but once you do, ooh, you can have a lot of fun with her. Poison Necro is also really fun. Alright. We can try again. Plus to Druid. Plus to Druid. any row runs I do come on I'm dying here man And it's 16 FCR, which is literally one lower than I I can I need basically. My res. Uh, okay, we could stack up there a little bit. 
One the barb, 16 FCR. If it was 17 FCR, I'd still probably use it. Because that would get me to the next breakpoint. But 16? You're just messing with me now. Yeah, crafting at 93 is best. But this is a speedrun. Just looking for some sort of 17 FCR plus or plus to druid skills or plus to elemental skills. Or just a super GT amulet. Tower is down here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Quick speed run to level 93, of course. I can smell that this tower is abandoned. Do, do, do. Yeah, I've got a crafting video. Exclamation mark, YouTube. Get those guys. Ignore me at the Titans Javazon run. Don't watch it. There is nothing fun about it. All I see is pain. Uber's running time? Just kidding. Nice. We uh we like that. The order welcomes you. We do have the rib cracker. Take that and go for it. So if there were any run that could maybe potentially go Uber, I feel like it would be this one. But that would add a lot of hours, a lot of farming for the keys. Be horrible. And I'm still not sure it would even be very possible. I don't know how budget you can go with uh, Fury Druid. Oh yeah, you need like 300% lightning resist for Mephisto. 
There's just no, no way it's possible at all without it. Yeah. And uh, it's, yeah. Sorb or 80 res, magic gem, yeah. It's. Life gets difficult. Give up! Phone it in and uh, do something else. Wind is still better, but fire has uh, picked it up a lot. Confident wind is still better. Yeah, I mean, I think ultimately the biggest issue with trying to do it with the Fury Druid is. If you're an underleveled Fury Druid, level 70 something, you have to still roll to hit Mephisto, and you're just gonna have such a bad roll chance. And that's for all the Ubers, too. They go to college? Uh huh. Wasn't a huge fan, actually, of college. A lot of people were like, college is the best days of my life! I was like, I'm kinda done. Ready to. To move on. Uh, computer science, IT. Huh, why did I lose camera focus? Hello. Weird. Llama going into flashback mode. Yeah, college just kind of dragged on and I felt like... Honestly, I didn't feel like I was... Like, some classes I felt were good, but a lot of them... Just felt meh. It didn't feel like I was actually learning. Uh, a ton. Like a lot of stuff seemed dumbed down or just for whatever things and so, you know, a lot, a lot of the courses and a lot of the stuff I just didn't feel like there was a lot of value that was actually coming out of it. Some teachers were engaging and taught some stuff and it was interesting, but... I don't know. It, it felt a lot of like a lot of babysitting as well for kids who were just really immature. I did that already. I'd recommend learning CS if you do it again. I mean, the thing is, it was all to get the degree so then I could get the job because I had the degree and I made connections with the teacher, which then got me the internship. So, you know, it was all just like a, a whole connections piece, but it didn't feel like it was as much of, you know, real value to me. Like, I feel like I could have taken those four years and built Llama RPG instead, and that would have been way more value, you know? Yeah, I did finish. I mean, I went and worked. Um, 
you know, in NIT for what, eight years? Nine years? Yeah, there was just a lot of fluff that was thrown into college to make you have to stay there another year and pay more money or something. I don't know. It definitely was dragged out and stuff. I'm 31. I'd say my favorite class is probably my genetic algorithms class because you actually got to really build something that was super interesting in my opinion. And I felt like I actually learned some new stuff in that class. Oh, thank you. Oh, I mean, there's way better thing. You know, like I say, getting yourself spectral shard, suicide branch, that sort of stuff. Getting your runes for your spirits, nice and early and easy, and the bases. Getting viper magi. Getting you know, Jalal's would be really good on this run. Whatever stuff. Shaco is a little high level. Otherwise good. I didn't do software development, I did, uh, I was an Oracle DBA, I worked with Citrix, and then I did, um, data analytics and, like, I mean, I built dashboards for engineers and stuff, but that was, like, Power BI stuff. So, you know, I'd do some R and Python and whatever, but I never, like, did what I would say really felt like you know, software development, hardcore. Did I enjoy working in the field? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I thought it was fine. I just, I liked streaming more. I felt streaming had more upside. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that was, that was pretty much how it went down. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, God, hold up. Let me go back. We gotta do barracks. <laughs> Not done yet. I forgot that I set a TP there, but didn't take it. Oh, that goes over there. Okay. Not that I know of, Kitax. Okay. Now, all quests completed. All waypoints on to Act Two. See, I mean, I I had always gone into IT just to have a stable income. That was my like reasoning when I went into it. I just said, okay, I know IT jobs are in demand. I know they pay decent, and you only need a bachelor's degree. So that was my whole reason for picking it. So I was never like in love with it all, you know. No. Please ACC pet my money. I am trying to eat less so I figured that less money means less food. That technically is how that works. Thank you Mental Chaos. 
So then I went into one of the most unstable careers. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, let's stream a 20-year-old game and make that our full-time job. And here we are, 50 years later. <laughs> I mean, it's worked out so far. Hopefully it continues to work out. If not, well, back to the uh, IT job. 100% true, Riff. our little hole. Where is our waypoint? It definitely is. Streaming is a is a hustle and you gotta work hard. It ain't just logging on and playing games like every everybody's mom would tell you. our halls to the dead. Why are there so few streamers say there's a job you gotta grind hours for? I don't know, I feel like a lot of streamers would say that, right? Thanks, DGC! How are you? How was your stream? Good. Ugh, gross map. Halls, where is ya? Uh, anybody seen the Halls of the Dead? Stop it! Jesus. It's a bad time to get cursed, man. Uh, okay, far away, sis. Let's go to the hole. Hundred percent run, so we need to do a hundred percent of quest and get a hundred percent of waypoints. Why is that broken? Hundred percent of monsters must die, man. Y'all just n are never satisfied, are ya? Jeez. 
Jesus. So gross. Good day. Yeah, that's that's just a uh, destroy run. Nice, we like waypoints. Ow. Snakes. Better stuff killed. Ooh, boots. Not that we need them. We got our uh, good enough boots. Good night. Okay, we only need two more levels right now, so I'm kind of being selective on. I do need to repair. Trying to be a little selective. I 
than what we kill. Because, I mean, even just the Chaos Sanctuary alone, just like all the required quests, should get us level 60 at least. I don't want to overlevel like crazy or anything. I haven't watched any of the Obi-Wan series. So gross. Good to see you. Five dollars a month for first sight arcane. Uh. It's like Dirk Diggler. Oh. Oh god, the Midora. I'm dead. Actually dead. I can't I can't even switch to teleport and get a teleport off. Jesus. Might aura and just too many archers and they weren't even like on pace with each other. So it's just that was a terrible group. Archers are so good, man.
second. Oh, that way. Be down low. Hmm. I have a pull rune. All I need is a co, a vex, and a four open socket thrail, flail. So pretty easy. I one time did find a vex and a pull. Oh, he didn't get the co or the four open socket flail. Jesus. So nasty. What is this directions? No. Get the tornadoes on him, man. What? He's he's in one of those spots that you like can't hit. You have to aim in the dumbest positions to try and hit him appropriately. Super annoying. We have burned a lot of our rejuice. Just uh, trying to do a couple of these basics here. Wait, which one is it? Triangle. Yeah, we'll go talk to Atma. Softcore. Impossible. My goodness. Okay. I kind of want to level up to get a bear for Duriel. Even if it's just like a tiny bear. Tip to survive your CS degree? Uh, I mean, to survive your CS degree. Like the actual learning of it? Um, find some people that you can stay up late with and have like late night coding sessions. And make it a lot more fun. Because there's just going to be nights that you're going to have to do that. It's a little 
little tough there. Maybe Lost City. Bear time. And burial time. Let's go. better. <laughs> hey, so sad. Okay. All quests, waypoints done. Time for Act Three. Got it. Ghostly? No. You. No. Nobody has it in that group. Jade figurine is somewhere in here. I think there's another boss down here though. Might be in that guy. Let's get inside of him and find out. Jade figurine. Do you have it, Pit? There it is. Looks like Jade. Perhaps it's worth something. Ouch. 
painful. Move some safety up. So many bosses, man. Who has the might aura? Good lord. I should have talked to Mashif when I was down there. Poison is wrecking my face. Yeah, there's just so many fire means you'll run into. Oh boy. D2R 40% off right now. Yeah. Let's see, waypoint, yes. And Great Marsh with souls. We'll come back for that nope. later. Thank you, muzzle! For the prime sub. Impossible. Could also go to Flare Jungle out left, potentially. Everything right now is hitting with the hard poison. It's just nasty. Oil and gas potions only run. Mm, maybe keep waiting on that one. Uh, okay. Souls again? Helps a tiny bit, but... Interesting, a double connection through to the Great Marsh. Oh lord. That was a bad mob, cold lightning. Bad, bad man. Almost level 60. Yeah, we're gonna way be over leveled here. I did too much farming in normal. Or I mean in act one. Okay, so that is nice. Still don't know about flare jungle. But it seems like 
It's a skip. I need to go back. I mean, it kind of felt that way already. This map was really weird in how it was set. Felt like kicking out left would be a uh, player jungle right here. Peace. Not the best. Waypoint, please. Or a well or something. Scroll of Town Portal also works, but Waypoint would be the best. Yes. Leave that there for now and go forward. Whew. Probably the uh, perfect D web. By a decent amount, yeah, would be my thought. D-webs are rare, man. One in a hundred, ten thousand, or whatever. True, why do you need a GPU, guys? You have a phone, right? Obviously. These guys don't even realize they have phones. That's insane, Scatty. Hurt. I can't carry it. My goodness gracious. Is eleven. 
that there. And we'll deal with that later. Two of these boss groups in here? It's the most crowded room you could ever make that. Jesus. I was so busy. No! Just grab the stupid thing. Good lord. It's so like sticky in there it feels like. I, I don't even know. It was so hard to, to move or do anything. Goodness gracious. Okay, that should now be here. I can't carry anymore. Perfect. Good day. Disgusting. Corpse got that cursor slot, baby. Okay, so that's chess. means somewhere right very unfortunate map Ugh, again trying to just click around with all the black edges here I really wish they fixed that as well in the next patch. Makes it so hard to move. Ah, oh, wait, I need the waypoint here. Mm -hmm. 
Could do another gem shrine. I don't know if I can take the heartbreak of it failing again. Where's my waypoint? getting pummeled out here. She's still playing along right now. You gotta get her through hell first, just normally. Okay, now the fun part. One of the fun parts. said go home why did it not take me home what is wrong with the waypoint why didn't it use it Hello. what that didn't even make sense literally clicked on it Awful. Truly awful. I have to complete. Hey, Olama. I'm here for the crunchy peanut butter and the run less than three. Perfect. Thank you, Bloop. Fun one to have to do. Yeah. 
Let's do that. Now time for the giant Durrance. So sticky. Could still be up there. I mean, I hate the darn map so much. Yeah, the Durrance or the waypoints having a slight lag on them before use is super annoying. Wow. Okay, well, it's all right there, so that's good at least. Join my army. I've been out of the loop for a while. Have you been running D2R, and if so, do you have any records in it? This is our first time getting a little back into it. Uh, I need to repair. Let's just use an art rune. Got the Great March waypoint, I believe, right? I think I have all the waypoints. That's not a fun group to have back there. Yeah, but I'd already gotten the Travancore Waypoint there, Ubio. This wasn't the first time. Rejuves, that sucks. Okay, all quests completed. And all waypoints. Whoo! Act four time. No souls, no souls, no souls, no souls. My, my f 
fire res is a little bit low right now. Makes me a little uneasy for Act 4. No souls, that was nice. Hey -o. Love it. Okay, now where is Shuol? Pretty good. Pretty good so far. Hopefully the chaos is better than last time though. All Oblivion Knight CS? I know, right? Oh, these pit lords are going to be annoying. Cold Enchanted is not great. but does make it harder. Oh my god. Those terrible tornadoes. good as well because that's good money right there okay what rune is it chat place your bets place your bets step right up what rune are we gonna get another pull <laughs> Somebody say obedience?
No. Has the inaugural no. house party date been set yet? Not, not quite yet. Thank you, Solly. Oh, hello. There's a lot of stuff we don't want to fight. Yes! <laughs> No, that's foul. No, he's immune to physical. Uh, unluckers. Unluckers. What do you need? I don't want to actually have this guy chasing me, so I'm going to come over here and teleport away from him. Enchanted isn't the most fun, but it is technically workable. Lower resist is not fun at all. I do not like that. Shark skin belt seems nice. And two reaches. Okay. Spawn point. Ow. No, 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 no. Stone skin. A 
We are good. Fire enchanted death? Nope. Whew. Hope you are well, Llama. Thanks, Nogar. You too. That's so little damage, I know. That's why you always wonder how Nightmare feels so much more. Even after the fix, I still have been popped by Nightmare Enchant. No, he rolled immune to physical, really? All right, well, let's let him sit in our cold. He's also cold enchanted, what a joke. I can't carry hey, we got rejuice. What do you mean he died? Hurricane does a lot of cold damage. He wasn't cold immune, he was cold enchanted. Yeah. He was already lightning and physical immune, and so he couldn't be cold immune because you can't have a three immune. Well, Infector physical immune is worse. Because he's harder to take down with Hurricane and I have to try and get in there and stuff and that's really annoying. Yeah. So it would be a long time trying to kill him. Oh yeah, we gotta get our skills. Good to see you. God. Yes. All right, all waypoints and quest. Act four is done. Act five time. Take a look. Oh. Have a blackjack for a Diablo down heart. God, charges quit being so broken. Thank you, theoretical. For our rules, sure. Like I say, I, it's hard to say Road Record Pace or anything like that because. My rules are, are actually different from the official 100% rules. Official 100% rules, you don't have to do all the quests in order. Or I mean like with the axe, you can just come back and do them whenever you want. Which is a pretty big change. And then I don't know if the run submitted have all waypoints or not. Because that wasn't a, a previous requirement until I brought it up and then they added that. And I'm also not sure if they say you have to kill Cow King. So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. I was hoping to be sub seven hours. We'll probably be a little bit over that. I was hoping we could have finished more around this time, but Such is life. I was just hopeful, thinking. See you in hell. Nadine! What up?
Okay. Quest one and two done. Especially on the Druid and like Amazon and stuff, broken charges on teleport are so critical. They just don't have the life and ability and speed to, to afford not being able to get a teleport off. Yeah, I gotta personalize. Like, ugh. It's really annoying, man. It's not always that it needs a little bit of time. Like, I, it does, but also sometimes when you're just... You've had the weapon on and you're just t trying to teleport. I'll run around with the weapon and try and teleport and it'll still fail sometimes. Okay, area. Oh my god. Get that junk off. Six TPs left. Let's go repair. Okay. Anya. No souls, no souls, no souls. Ghosts are not great. Right, same map as Nightmare. See, like, that was plenty of time in between. Oh god, oh god. I'm so screwed. Ghosts are annoying down here. This one. I did not think we were going to get out of that. Let's go, Llama. You're the best okay sign. Let's go, baby. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible spawns of mobs. Snakes and archers. I don't want it. Oh, gosh. I 
don't think I've had any of the easy glacial trail waypoints. They've all been windy, crazy ones. Again, yeah. More snakes. Why has it always got to be snakes? Doing decathlons? Not a ton. They were so brutal, man. I miss probably doing like hurdles a little bit and stuff, maybe a couple events, but decathlons overall were just cool. Like, so, so exhausting. I'm not sure. Not sure about that one. In fact, I'm pretty sure no matter how hard I trained and worked, I would never be able to take down any of the uh, Ash Neaton's records. Or sniff them. Halls of pain? Oh yeah. Hi, Sammy. How are you? Okay. Ancients. How does this go again with this character? Just in case. Good afternoon. We'll give it a try. What's Cham? Half a high run? Quack. 
quarter of a high run. Cold lightning fire enchanted. Extra strong. A lot of nastiness out here, honestly. Yeah, he's just gonna get pulverized pretty quickly. I don't know if I'll be able to tank him straight up. Might have to keep running around. Get Madoc down though, that'll be a win. Get the lightning enchant gone. Crude's pushing. Hey Benny, how you doing? Good to see you. I feel like the only unique worth something is Griffins. There's a lot more uniques worth something. I mean, Death's Web, COA, Wind Force, Shaco. Some easy ones right there. And Dariel's head. Thanks to it, Shroy 2 for my sub game. SOJ. PK ring. Thanks, BYD. Viper Magi. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can go down the list, down further. Mara's like. Yeah, those pots are doomed. Eth Reaper's tall. Eth 3 Open Socket Cryptocax. Raven Frost, Death Titans. The list goes on. <laughs> More chess. <laughs> All worth some good stuff. But even valuable uniques that are rare. Still, I mean, just up there. COA, Death Web. Those are two easy ones. Mara's is more common, but still some people would say rare. Arachnid Mesh, more common, but still. Solid. Sub seven hours, not gonna happen. We still have to do waves, bail, uh, and then, oops, I messed my potion set. We have to do nil attack. So unfortunately, no real chance there. Cow King. And get through this nightmare. Jeez. Great. How King's included? We threw it in there. I don't know if it should actually be included or not. I 
I mean, when you gotta do things like collect all the waypoints and stuff, suddenly you're going into all the halls of the dead, and you're, you know... You're going to the Great Marsh, blah blah blah. So it, it does have some, uh, you know, effect there for sure. Oh god. No, are you kidding me? Get out of there. Don't you wall block me like that. Yeah, I'm dead end anyways. Whew, we're 62. Slightly over leveled. But the 100% really just had us doing a little bit more of stuff. So we'll continue to be slightly over leveled. Oh great, souls. Oh great, boss souls. Oblivion Knights and resurrecting souls. Perfect. Everything I love. It's just stuck standing. It's weird. I don't know if I got stuck on a body or what. What? Oh, my portal's up there. Ruined my own potential to skip. I mean, not a wave that really needs to be skipped. He handles all the waves pretty well.
Try a dwarf. I only know, I think we got one skip. Oh, we got all of them. Swag. Dwarf really helps a lot there. It's tricky, but possible. Take some practice. I have a video explaining it. Seven bail? No, bail is just so tanky. It's kind of insane how tanky he actually is. Druid is so bad at killing bail. Fire druid or wind druid. And fire probably as well. Yeah. Good evening. Honestly, he's behaved pretty well for us to have him at half health right now. Yeah, I was going to do a potential respec, but I mean, it would have been pretty bad for the latter half of it. TPs, please. That's all good. Thank you. My brothers will not have died in vain. Appreciate that. Alright, 
through that B. Looking good. Honestly, this is going very quickly for a bail kill. Very happy. Chance to cast on casting? What? Oh my god. They're really just getting wild out there, ain't they? Alright, we still got nil at that coming. My brothers will not have died in vain. Decent. Let's go, let's go. Good enough. Green has two druid skills, so I did want to look at that. You can't hide from me. Oh, this is danger. Do not like terrible spawns and no rejuice. The morning comes. Morning. Okay. Nice. 
Flawless Nilithak. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're good on that. We have all waypoints. We have to go talk and personalize. That was pretty smooth, I'm not gonna lie. Oh wait, I've already got it. Go, 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 go! He's immune to physical! What are the odds? Alright. Can I knock him down with my hurricane damage? Doesn't look like it. Unlucky. Been a lot of bad luck. Perfect portal into that. Good day. Uh, uh. Wait, where's the leg at? Do I not? Oh, I have it. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Darn it! So close to sub seven hours. I wanted it, man. And that's it! 701.44 GG All the quests done All the waypoints gotten Ugh <laughs> All of the quests done. All of the waypoints gotten. That was, uh... That was a thing. Ignore the, the world record PB piece. Now we can finally play the game. Y'all know how it is. All right, guys, we are going to watch episode three of The Boys. If you want to stick around, I'd love to have you. If not, I appreciate you guys being here. Mwah! Before we go, we'll do a quick gear check. Skill check and stats. Remember streamers this weekend.